been so long since I almost I've seen forgot Baker. to hit the record button. I barely remember <laughs> at the last second. <laughs> Good to see you, Mike. No, I'm sorry. No, no V-neck. Keith has let you I down tonight. It. I guess I can. There we go. <laughs> Whoa. It's the impromptu V-neck. The yeah. impromptu V-neck. Yeah. Oh, it's my God. V-neck. Is it a very, Wait a minute. It? How many channel points is that? Yeah, the impromptu V-neck. <laughs> and how low does it go? From low low low. Low. Oh, my God. I could set up like three different tiers. <laughs> let me know then if I, I can do this idea. Shirt. Actually, we should just both get order the tank tops. We could do that. <laughs> that would be channel points. We'll both wear a tank both top. Both wear a tank top show. for an entire show. That's <laughs> that not a bad to charity, idea. Though. That, yeah, I, I think at some point yeah. we've got a few ideas that'd be too good for charity things that we can't, <laughs> can't not use them there. Uh, definitely, definitely have to do that. Well, hello, everybody. It's Thursday. Hello, everybody. Hello. 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 Standard V, the deep V, and the deep, deep V. <laughs> <laughs> Evening chaperone. Paca, good to see you. Litha, good to see oh. you there, too. I want the happy trail to your home. still mic. needs to do the uh, the resubscribe. I the, know. Uh, because you, you lost your little cool mug or actually, what is it? It's the, either the beer glass or whatever glass you Could had. Be. Yeah, some sort of glass that in must there. Have, uh, the time must have elapsed. So I'm Hello. pretty sure there's still some in there. <laughs> Hello, I need something if you can like, you know, help. Depends on what it is, player. What is it? I don't know if I can help, but I'm happy to try. It depends. Be careful, though. Be careful with what you ask for. You may get it. Uh, but yeah, it is Thursday. We're going to do some beverage podcasting. We got a couple different things. And I just realized I forgot to go grab the beverage grab that the we beverage. actually be starting with. And because Keith's like, we're going, right? We're going. He's like <laughs> about to hit that Twitter button so fast, which is another place you guys should all be following us on his Twitter, of course. <laughs> There's a raccoon in front of my door and I'm just trying to take out my dog. Oh, <laughs> what do you do? I don't know. Can you shoo away a raccoon? Is that a broom worthy thing or how does that work? I don't know. Can you, can you throw like food like at the, and you get it, but then you don't want them to come back though. I don't want to send food. Right. You don't want to set, start no. a pattern. Yeah. Does like noise frighten a raccoon? I don't know. I don't I've know. never been involved uh, in any I've kind of area where a raccoon a, would be present. A raccoon based ruckus. I've never been a part of that. <laughs> a raccoon ruckus. Uh, yes. uh, that is also our next shirt. Very, very, <laughs> if you're checking <laughs> Where's out the Where's the raccoon store. ruckus? Yeah. Go check out the merch store. We have a raccoon ruckus shirt available now. A raccoon could bite. A raccoon could bite you. 100%. They could have rabies. True. I'd be more worried about your dog probably than you. Oh, the raccoon and the dog could get in a, yeah. a struggle. I mean, uh, an I epic know, confrontation for uh, supremacy. I know the <laughs> cowboy and the farmer should be friends, but I don't know about the uh, raccoon and the dog. I don't know how that works. Oklahoma didn't teach me that part. Didn't, didn't get that. Didn't get all of that. Uh, but yeah, we've got uh, some great things. I will go grab the beer here in just a split second. We're gonna have something from uh, from Stone. We've got uh, the last uh, of our three piece of empathy wines. We've got a red blend coming in, and uh, then on top of that, we have literally the uh, person that could flex only slightly more than Keith, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, oh, is coming nice. in here with his tequila. That's right. In fact, I think he might have actually been the model for the. For the the, uh, the the emote, the emo, yeah. I'm sorry, because it wasn't me. I didn't want to break your heart. No, 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 no. I did That's find fine. someone else, and I may have used That's that fine. one. So, uh, I came across a raccoon on my run today. He ran away when I got close to him, though. See, okay, chaperone might. Now, I'm not saying we're not endorsing any of this because if you get hurt, it's not our fault. Right. But uh, yeah, just, just start keep checking. Running. Maybe just try tapping somewhere else, like to maybe like distract it to another area, and then I would think loud noises, uh, like uh, Steve Carell would say from Anchorman, loud noises. <laughs> I would think that would work for most things. Is a hundred percent my guess. Uh, but yeah, we've got all those things. But there's one quick thing I'm going to show you because it kind of ties into something you were talking about. You did mention that uh, you mentioned that what I mentioned. we were slightly incorrect. That uh, Gary Vaynerchuk no longer owns Empathy Wines. True. We should mention yeah. this at the yeah, top. I thought sell. he still had some sort of ownership, but he does not. He sold out to Constellation Brands. Okay. Yep. But apparently, he still he, likes uh, he still likes Empathy Wines because this. Oh, this happened not a few hours ago. Oh wow, well, eight hours ago. Okay. Well, it did say he was staying on as a consultant. Uh, once again, this article was now a year, oh, almost a year ago. It was oh, July of last year. Um, that was talking about the sale of the company that was only a year old. So <laughs> it's gone. Thank God, Blair. Um, so yeah. So uh, at least he still has empathy for. He has empathy, empathy for his previous. Yes. Let's hope it doesn't bring friends. Let's That's hope right. it doesn't bring That's a squad left, of people. You know. But yes. And I did check too. I thought, is this a fake account? Is this a bogus account? Well, there's 9 million people following this account that he said he'd sell. This is somebody at least. So, so you, there you go. put a photo up of. I did. This is our, our, our thing that said, hey, we're doing a podcast on the Rosé. Come check it out. It's our one that we just did oh, right, this right. week, which right. you should be subscribed to YouTube so you'd know this came out today. And he said, hey, I like this. Check out these guys. So okay. we'll take it. 
We'll take liked our get. photo. We'll he take did. that. Yes, we will. We will take it. So that was a big thing. All right, I'm going to sit here. Keith's going to entertain you. Maybe another V will happen. <laughs> the deep V. I'm telling you, we the could do something v. for like seventy five thousand points. Is just like a little bit. Hundred K is somewhere else, and then like. 150 is like who knows something else completely uh, the greatest imposter account ever oh my god yeah 8.9 i even checked because i thought oh this probably can't be and i was like oh no 8.9 million that is a good that would be a great imposter account It'd be insane <laughs> y'all have a tiktok wow you can search right now search for don't search for about beverages search for about beverage currently and we do have a tiktok haven't put up any of the videos yet i am building up a collection of things okay there is going to be an announcement very soon when this is going to happen so if you want to get down on the ground floor and start following us you're more than welcome to search for about beverage uh i could maybe get a link in chat here in a minute because i think uh, i've got one of those but about beverage not about beverages there is a false account that has about beverages I flagged it to TikTok. TikTok has actually emailed me back and said, we're looking into it. Oh. We'll see if they actually look into it. That I would be fe- great. I'm <clears throat> feeling something good. Because we are about beverages. Because we are about beverages. There is right. no one else. Even if you are singular, it's still us. It's still plural. That's right. All right. Let me go grab the beer and uh, we'll uh, get going on other things and stuff. We'll talk about things and stuff. V-neck TikTok. <laughs> I don't know what that this means. is not a bad idea. So like we just start the camera and literally it's just like some like some salacious music yeah. and then all of a sudden you just do that and then it just ends. It's and like then fif- I'm ruining my, my shirt. It's like 15 seconds long. <laughs> this is not this is kind of an idea. We, we need to hash this out. I like this. All right. I'll be right back. Uh, don't be frightened. You're going to see here for a second. I have legs. I do have legs. He knows how to use them. The streamer has legs. Sure. <laughs> it would be sad if to be a streamer you had to not have legs but uh no streamer streamer with legs and getting a beer we're going to start with the um it, this i kept i actually yesterday when i was uh, looking to send uh, andrew the info on it i kept looking up skyfall but it's not skyfall it's dayfall <laughs> so this is dayfall from stone it's a belgian uh wheat beer and i think it has bergamot i believe is what i read it? yep so this is not the song No, it's not Skyfall. Let the day fall. <laughs> it's not. It's the Let It Crumble. No, this has got bergamot and coriander in it. So, um, <laughs> alert the media. He has legs. Oh my God, he knows how to use extra, them. extra. Uh, oh, you need to push it. a button. Boom! That's what we're having right Ooh, there. That. Well, let's see how it looks good. It does look delicious. Looks refreshing. The first thing I'm going to say, I was slightly sad about when I looked at the uh, graphic for this. It's not kind of the classic stone graphic look, and I almost couldn't. Even, this almost looks like. Are you trying to be a little more mass market with this graphic? When it first came in, it was very actually even hard to <laughs> see wow, legs. the stone written on there. And, you, and even on like the six pack holder, it, you have to look to see that it was stone. Cause I didn't even know who it was at first. It's got it on got the cap. In. Yeah. The cap's good. You can't see that, but it's got it on the cap. I got to get these other cameras going. I got to get Phil camera going. I've got another cam. I've got so many cameras. I've got to get these all going. Content, <laughs> not content. Yeah. Before I, you know. Oh, I'd pay for that. Con- oh, gotcha. Oh. Now, now it makes sense. Well, you have to. Yeah, you'd have to. 20 bucks, same as in town. <laughs> I don't even know where that originated from, but I know it's something. So. That'll be the day. <laughs> we, were, we weren't finishing the whole phrase, but I don't know if Lucky's here right now, but we were uh, playing, doing our Grandmaster Nightfall stuff last night, so he was, uh, we were hanging out, having some good time. Oh. Look at that. Pocket with the Reese's Oh, crowd. there we go. All right, you got it. Yay. Let's go. I'd like to see that glass there. All right. <laughs> Could do community channel points for V-neck and leg flexes. I will have to figure out the amounts have, for those. We have uh, yeah, something. We have to rebrand our channel yeah. and get a new category then. So, yeah. um, Who dares me to spend all my points? All of you. Wanvo, how's it going? Good to see you. Wow. Good to see you. How are you this fine? Yeah, a large evening? audience right now. It is. It is nice. So we gotta take we gotta take all the advantage we can. What else okay. do we need to plug right now? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. No, the only thing we need to do is try this beer. Um I was saying something before all of that just happened. You were, say, you were sad about this. Sad uh, about the the, it, the 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 glass. Yeah, because I said it kind of looked like I said it just looked a little more mass market. Okay. And then there was something Label. else I was just starting to talk about. Well, we have it recorded. Let's go back. We could, Let's we could go back to the footage. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That would be great. I do have the, I remembered to turn that on a second ago too. I turned on the replay buffer. Uh, I should set that up for when I have those moments. Like maybe I could just hit a button to replay the last minute. Like, oh, that's what I was. Talking that's about. it. Yeah, we need that. I'll I'll remember. 
I finally got my hands on the Stone Cold IPA today. Oh, that we were talking about last night. Oh, now I remember. See, Wanvo, thank you. See, Wanvo was in chat last night, which ties back into that I was talking about Lucky. I was about to tell a story about Lucky. Okay. So we were talking about, uh, you. well, you mentioned the random just quote that you just had there, which then made me think of Three Amigos, which then made me think about the movie we were talking about last night. So in Destiny right now, there's an event. It's called Guardian Games. It's like all the different factions are competing, yada, yada. Handsome Pete. He dances for nickels. <laughs> Pete! You got some customers. <laughs> early Pete. It was an early Pete, but a necessary Pete. Uh, now I forgot what I was Destiny. talking about. No, I forgot. All, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, no. So we were talking. So anyway, the thing that you, this currency that you earn to do this other stuff, I'm trying to be as vague as possible because it's like, you don't care about why how all these s- systems interact. But anyway, they're called laurels. And so every time we pick him up, we were like, a laurel and hearty handshake. And, hearty handshake. and then we just stop right there. Because <laughs> like, if you know the movie reference, that's where a he's not. A few times I think handshake. we said to our new sheriff. <laughs> that was about it. Uh, but that was, uh, that was it. Pocket, it is good to see you. Thank you again for the resubscribe. That is super nice. We do appreciate that. Everybody that's here hanging out, thank you too. Uh, but yeah, Wanvo was talking about the... So st- when initially uh, they had put that in chat, Stone Cold IPA, I was thinking it was Stone Brewing, their IPA, and he just liked it cold and refreshing. But Stone Cold Steve Austin has an IPA. Okay. And it is available here in Arizona. So we may have to tie into, like, since we have Dwayne The Rock Johnson's tequila tonight, maybe we'll have, like, a wrestling week or something like that, apparently, of uh, some different uh, beverages from these uh, very uh, large, strong, strong fellows. <laughs> oh, I like the aroma. You know what? One of my favorite beers from Stone that they no longer make anymore was when they made that uh, Saison. God, I love that one. That the, was kind of, like, very different. Not the Kelly... No, not the Belgi. Cali Belgi, the actual Saison that they okay. made that had, because uh, I still, we actually, I finally got, I think I had to get rid of it because it was getting a little old, but I had the six pack holder for it for forever. Remember we walked out and looked at that like six months ago because I was like trying to remember the name of it and it was literally just oh, yeah. Saison. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, that one was always super delicious. Like I think, yeah, I think they, they had some, I don't think there was lemongrass in there, but there was like nettles and spices and other, it was, that one was really good. Nick, how's it going? What's your favorite way to chill a drink? You know, we've had that question a little bit recently. To chill, to chill it quickly. Yeah, if you're talking about ch- quickly chilling, usually like if I'm lazy, I just literally, if, say it's a beer. I'm assuming we're talking about a beer uh, more than likely. Throw it in the freezer about 45 minutes or an hour. If you want it quicker, you wrap it in like a paper towel, wet paper yeah. towel uh, or like a wet rag and that'll help get the cold in there faster. Some people, if you have snow, like I know some people were just still getting snow the other day that wow. were in chat, uh, you could put it in a snow drift. All of these are options. Do the, you uh, have a different? Uh, no, that's what, that's what we talked about. Just make sure you set the timer if you put it in the freezer. <clears throat> set a timer. You don't want to find sage, that mess the next day. Sage words. Or a couple hours too late. So I think there was sage in that stone beer. That's why that came up. Sage. Just now. There we go. So yeah, those are my favorite. What's your favorite? What is everybody's favorite way? Like, do you have a favorite like method of, of that? Like, I know the quickest way. I think they did a Mythbusters episode one time where it was literally like, you know, it's usually putting salt in the ice water because then that brings down the freezing temperature because you can get oh, the water okay. even colder. Um, like I know that's it, but then it's like very expensive buying all that stuff just to chill a beer. I, I don't know if they were chilling a beer, but it was literally that kind of experiment. What's the fastest way to get something super cold? I just remember that we used to have that ice cream maker. Remember that one, that old one when we were kids? It was wooden and you'd put all the ice in there and you put the salt oh, in there because yeah. that would lower the temperature. Yeah. you sit there and crank the whole time. My method is freeze and forget until the next day. Yes, that ties that's into what, what that's you what said. we're saying. That's, yeah, Nick, that ties in right there. It could be bad unless it's something that doesn't actually freeze into a block of ice. Like that's true. You can put your vodka and your, your spirits can go in there. Yeah, <clears> spirits <throat> can stay in the freezer. They're a high enough, high enough ABV because the alcohol just like really won't freeze yep. ever, I don't think. Maybe. Maybe there's some sort of antarctic spot where it actually like well if right. you get to minus 240 it right does. then it does then it does surprisingly Maybe. yeah those, <laughs> those scientists know the secrets so this came in is this uh nationwide i'm seeing here this is a belgian white i'm sure you already mentioned this stuff uh it is brewed with bergamot orange peel coriander um i'm not seeing if this is a year round or just a special thing i think it was i don't think it's a year round uh, about this beer, drink fresh, release date March 1st, 2021. Yeah, I'm not seeing if it's going to be like if it's just it doesn't, a year it doesn't say anything limited release though, too. So maybe they're maybe it's like they're just testing it. If it sells well, could be. Keep, if it sells well, we keep making it. Yep, crunch all you want, we'll make more. I, I a couple of my co workers had tried it and it said it that it was pretty good. And I this is probably the time of year I would drink something like this and mix it up a little bit. This is honestly different. a nice balance of everything. Yep. I, I, I like this. 
This is good. This is kind of, it's not quite as good, but it's in a similar vein as that Dragoon uh, Hefeweizen or the Gooner Weiss that they did that mm. I've had. I have one of those. That one's even a little more toward like a classic, you know, Hefeweizen. I know this is not, but it's like that. I, that one has a little bit more body to it, which I like. Okay. But I think this is still really good. Mixing bowl, half of water and add salt, then in freezer. There you go. Yeah, that's like probably the ultimate way. But yeah, because this one even has, this is like literally a label. Like, it's not the etched. Oh, Where yeah. Where is my etching? Oh, stone, what true. is happening? It's true. Well, they... Stone cut We also corners? did have the stone F and B recently, so at least this is better than that. It's true. No, <clears throat> this is way better the than that. The active lifestyle. I liked it. No, I, I like... During the summer like this, I... As much as I still love all the IPAs, and I had... Uh, well, you were saying... Do you had one of the tombstones? I had one of the tombstones. I had the, all the hops, the, uh, just the regular IPA. Okay. That was very I've good. had the, all the hops, the regular IPA, and I've had the double. I like the double better. Okay, I still have the double. The regular waiting. was fine too. Yeah, like it was. It was good. The double definitely had a little bit more kick, and I think that's the one we we we've had these. I think we thought the triple then was, and I think the triple for some reason we thought took a step back, but I, can't remember I haven't had it yet this year. But as much as I still love those, there's something about nice, just like already thinking in mind, I'm gonna have a couple, and then it's like, oh, that's just nice and refreshing. You kind of enjoy one, and then go from yep. there. Double IPA, double the fun. Hundred percent chaperone. I agree. It usually is, although double IPAs, as uh, Keith has tweeted out before, or talked about on Untapped, sometimes not quite fully double. Seven and a half. Uh, <laughs> I guess. Technically. <laughs> Technically, uh, I guess. Technically, you can call it, but seems kind of... Seems a little light, as they say. Yes. But uh, no, I, I like... So what is the cost on this? I'm going to say it's stone, so it's... Uh, I'm going to say... Better be like eight ninety nine or nine ninety nine tops. Yeah, Ten ninety nine. That is too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> Ten ninety nine. So that is too six at least though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, I don't know. Ten ninety nine for seventy two ounces. Did you use your calculator? I didn't use my calculator. No. <laughs> I did not. Yeah, I don't. Um... Hmm. I don't know why this feels <laughs> as dumb as that sounds. It feels like it should be a beer, be a beer that's under ten bucks for the six pack. Yeah, you know, just easy drinking. Like thinking about that, I'll probably have you know you have a couple. It's of the like, Bergamo. It's already it is <laughs> it is that just adds that uh, little little Bergamo. less than quality. Yeah, a little more. Charge a little more for the essence of Bergamo. For the essence of Bergamo. That is the name of my new lo-fi album. That is uh, one of the things I was going to announce. Sorry, you unfortunately Harris, gave it away. Uh, oh, uh, and Harris Heller. Now we have you. Harris Heller is uh, actually, he's producing it. Senpai right. Records. They're bringing it out very soon. Essence of Bergamo. Essence of Bergamo. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Please let that be a thing. That would be amazing. There has got to be an album. Let's see if there's actually an album with that. That's called Essence of Bergamo. Es <laughs> Oops. Oops. Essence of tranquility, silent lucidity. <laughs> Essence of this an album. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm gonna type in the word album. Let's see what they've got for me. No, no, someone has missed so out. So we on could this. have it. We could have it. That is still in the public. I quickly, we are live right now. Please, uh, I've got to go to the domain. Uh, I've got to buy that domain. Actually, I thought of another domain the other day that we need to buy, but I don't want to say it down here. Like I oh, thought, I need to look up. I don't think anyone else has it, but I was seeing other people doing such domains. I was like, oh, we should, we should have that one because it should redirect uh, back. So I may have to look into that. Um, what else this week? Oh, um, so we do have some uh, birthday festivities this weekend. We were already mm -hmm. talking about, uh, do you know what uh, you might be bringing over alcohol-wise? Are you going to go look I, for something, make a I trip? I hadn't even thought about it. I hadn't even thought about it, huh? I hadn't even thought. It's weird to be thinking about that again after yeah. over a year of, of not. So, no, I hadn't even, I'm not in that, that groove yet. So Not back in a New York groove? No, well, I'm in the New York groove. Okay. Ace Freely, of course. New York uh, State of Mind? Mm, Billy Joel? No, not in a New York State of Mind. New York, New York? Wow. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I think I'm it. <laughs> New so York's no, not, I'll New figure something my home. out. I'll pick, yeah. Well, that's good too. <laughs> that's the best one of the bunch. <laughs> that's good too. I was uh, never a huge fan of New York State of Mind. It's okay. Like it's it's a good I, song. I, I understand probably identify it's more with it if you are from New York. I'm guessing. Mm, fair. Because of all the things that he talks about, <laughs> but yeah. but I uh, but the especially listening to the Billy Joel channel for 
for as much as I have done when it's been around, that song plays a lot. And I've come to appreciate it more and more. And then I know, like I said, it was you know, when the whole 911 thing happened. He did it at one of the um, concerts, so it probably has a little more there. But, uh, but yeah, I would think especially, and I've been to New York a few times, and, you know, some of the terms, you know, it talks about the Hudson River and different. So I can obviously not identify it as an actual New Yorker, but... Uh, that probably Those three times qualify as a New Yorker, yeah, correct? Yeah, yeah, right. I'm an I'm a yeah. that, uh, I'm an honorary New Yorker. I'm an honorary, honorary New Yorker. Upstate New Yorker. Yeah, right. <laughs> upstate New York. I'm kind of New a Jersey more... in as well. You can throw yeah, that in there. You can tie all that in together. Uh-huh. That's why I like Bruce Springsteen so much. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Things I've never heard you say. Uh, not that you're against Bruce so, Springsteen. I don't want anyone no. to besmir- feel like we're besmirching no. Bruce Springsteen. Um, mm-hmm. But I think when you're born in New Jersey, I think it's in the DNA. I'm not sure. Probably that the, Bon Jovi, Jack, about, Jack Nicholson. Yeah. Jack Nicholson's from New Jersey. Yeah, I did not know that. Yeah, there's a fact for you right there. Okay, I know that because of uh, Robert Wool's comic relief bit from like 1994. Okay. He does a whole thing about uh, like talking about how they were going to make uh, Bruce Springsteen's "Border Room" oh, the right. state song in New Jersey. I and as part that. of that, he's talking about all the famous people from New Jersey, and he says Jack Nicholson is from New Jersey, and he says Bon Jovi, and he says yeah. Bruce Springsteen, and then talks about how the state can finally sometimes get out of the way. Are there certain things Arizonans do that others don't? We say it's a dry heat a lot. Yeah, unfortunately, and people get really annoyed by that, but that's true. That's true. It's a dry it's a heat. Dry heat. Um, usually asking if people have air conditioning. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's a lot. I actually, funny tie into that um, somewhat. I was reading an article about, I think it was about Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, and they were talking about vernacular and that, you know, that whole show is set in New Mexico. Right. And, but the way that they have talked in the show about when they say like, you know, uh, not necessarily streets, but like interstate, like, oh, I'm going to take the I-45 or I'm going to take this or whatever. I guess technically if you're from New Mexico, that's not how they say it. Like they would just say, I'm taking the 45. They wouldn't say the I, like the I oh, part is a very okay. California thing. Okay. So that was like some weird little like, oh, that's interesting. Like, cause no one would pick up on that unless, you know, probably people from New Mexico are like, well, that's not how we, you know. Right. You Nobody know, says that. Take the I t- like we say that you know we take the I ten or take I-10, the I five yeah. fifteen or whatever you know so yeah. we say, so it's like California but then as soon as, as soon as you hit New Mexico for some reason they can't you be bothered it. with the I yeah uh, they just say the forty five you go from being on the I ten when you're in Arizona to being on the ten when you're in New Mexico okay. there you go perfect although sometimes they'll just say the ten that's true we're casual closed to restaurants even nice ones during the summer that oh. never happens back east you know what that's a great point I. You, would not have thought of that, but that is a hundred percent true. There is a little bit too much Arizona casual. Like that is like a thing. Like too much Arizona casual. I I think so. Like sometimes it's like good to I have Arizona casual. So when I go to a restaurant like Fleming's or something that's like high end, oh, I don't want to well, see someone come in in their beach wear, which certain, I heard, like I have gone like yeah. There's probably my wife a threshold and I, then had you a, have to yeah. dress a little nicer than that for for sure. You know, you're wearing your Tommy Bahama shirt. Like and it's like please come on. It's like well Tommy Bahamas. That's a shirt. I know, but it just, you know. It's if you're wearing it with flip-flops, maybe, but. <laughs> I didn't look down at the person's feet Tommy Bahama with some nice silk pants or something like that. Could probably, okay, wow. We could probably some. be okay. All right. I don't know. I don't have any of these things in my <laughs> It's a dry wardrobe. heat like your oven. Oh, my God. But yes. <laughs> That's, yeah, that could be. How is it? What is this dry heat business? No, just try your oven. Yeah, I don't mean by mean like normal places, mildly casual, like you know. Yeah, but it's also still like there's there needs to be a little bit of a limit. Well, and it needs to be clean, and you need to you know. Yeah, and, and it needs to be appropriate. But yeah, it is nice to not really have to. You, you can dress up a little bit more if you want, but then it's also perfectly acceptable to to not so much. <clears throat> so, I think people out here like doing the uh, like short sleeve, but it's the button up collar with the tie. I remember Kent always hated that. He always thought that was like the cheapest thing like that. Like you would like to do that because like you're trying to do like the button up professional, but then you've got the short sleeve like button up, but like sure a jacket or no, just like, you know, oh. you go into like a client or any of like, okay. like I always hated that. So that was like, I think that's a, maybe a little bit of a hot weather Arizona thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't remember Kent talking about that. That's funny. Yeah. I just remember that came up one time because he came in and I was I, I think I jokingly said, have you ever thought about when it's hot? He's like, no, you do not do that. And I was like, well, because he was, so I was dressed like, very nicely. Yeah. I was like, I will never do that then, sir. So, yeah. <laughs> I hadn't even thought about it, but yeah. now I definitely won't. You've made a strong impression on me. He was always dressed very well. Very he was. Professionally and yes. And, and he loved, for his sure. bur- loved his bourbon. True. Which is also a good thing to impart. Um, I did do a little shopping today. Okay. Uh, I went out, not necessarily, uh, sorry to everybody out there, not necessarily for everybody out there in chat or for our get together this weekend, but I was doing some shopping of my own. I needed gin as one does uh, when you like gin. 
Uh, so I needed some gin, and I was like, oh, I'll go to Total Wine because I'll look. I actually went out initially intending to to get the Grey Whale again, which I bought a couple times. Uh, we've done a podcast on that. Go in the archives about beverages.com or just check out the YouTube thing. Shameless plug once again. Um, and you can find that review, which is actually doing really well. The couple that we did back to back, the Grey Whale and the Josh uh, Sellers that we did, uh, like, you know, that oh, we, those were what, given to that us. We were given to us. Yeah. yeah. Both doing very well on YouTube, okay. which is nice. Uh, it's nice to see that. I've got to reach out to them again, see if there's anything else. I <laughs> haven't talked to them in a while. I got to see Might as well. It can't hurt. Uh, but anyway, so I went out looking and I was just, I, so then I changed my mind. I was like, you know what? I haven't had the botanist in a while. I'm going to get a bottle of the botanist. And then I usually always grab the Plymouth or something now too, because just to have that kind of you know, that good solid one that maybe is a little bit more cost effective than some of those. But so just as I was about to walk away, all of a sudden I saw this box on the top shelf. I was like, ooh, that looks really interesting. So I wound up getting that. I switched out the botanist for this other one. It was similar price. It was around 36 bucks. Um, but it, uh, it's, it's done in, I believe it's, it's more of a classic style gin. They actually brew two different gins. Uh, one of them is a little more juniper focused. One of them is a little more citrus focused and they wind up blending them together to come up with this balance of whatever they're looking for. Uh, and then that, like I said, I, I believe they're in Europe. I'd have to look at it and get the box. We will wind up doing a podcast on it. So, uh, like, so as long as my wife and I don't drink through all of it by the next time we podcast, which is a great possibility. <laughs> Conor McGregor's whiskey is 20 bucks standard stuff. Okay. It's only, wow, that's not that expensive. I thought that'd be a little bit more premium than that. Um, but anyway, so, uh, so they take that blended gin and then, you know, to proof it down or whatever, they actually ship all of that over to Iceland and it's proofed down with Icelandic waters because those are the best waters apparently for what they're trying to do. Wow. Okay. I know. I was like, that seems okay. like the extra mile and like a really big waste of gas, but whatever, it's not my choice. Um, so they do that. And uh, I think that was probably like the most, it's a little bit higher. It's like a 90 proof as opposed to 80, which usually you see most gins are. So it's a little bit more that way. Uh, but yeah, I thought it sounded really unique. So I'm looking forward to like us trying that maybe next week or so on a future podcast. Um, next week. I oh, how much think? was it? The gin I was just talking about was I think 36 or 37. When we walk out for the next break to get this and come back in, I'll look at the name of it because I honestly forgot the name of it. It's gone out of my brain. Um, but uh, but yeah, we got that. Uh, the Gray Whale is the one specifically on YouTube. If you were asking about that one that we've had, you can watch the review on that one. Gray Whale Gin. Uh, that one is is uh, delicious. I really did like that one. But then, so as I'm standing there, I'm about to leave. I'm like, ah, I don't really. I kind of looked at the whiskey area, saw some things, saw some things that are interesting. I texted, uh, you know, texted my friend Jay, and I was like, hey, have you heard of this one? Because you know, all of a sudden they had a bunch of this one kind, and I was like, is this they just got it in stock, or is this something that's just now easily available? One of those kind of things. Your water not tasting fresh. Try Icelandic water, the freshest it can get, because <laughs> no one lives there. There's only like five people. They're like, we have so much water, it's so clean. Um, so anyway, I didn't get anything. So I was just about to leave when who should come upon me? Scott? Scott. Uh-oh. Our Scott good friend at Total you. Wine that we see. He walked over oh. and he said, hey, how's it going, Andrew? It? How's it going? Did he I say, it must be Christmas? <laughs> yeah, oh, wait, no. no. We're both there if it's yeah, Christmas. Yeah, that's right. And I was, I was like, good, how are you? We did a little elbow bump. Uh, and then uh, we started. he started actually asking me about gin because he saw the one I'd grabbed. And he's like, oh, he's like, I've heard really good things about that one. And he said, he said, what else have you been having? And so I started pointing everything out and telling him some stuff. So we were kind of going back and forth. Uh, I even told him about, I said, I said, yeah, he said, you guys don't, you guys don't carry one of my favorites anymore. You don't carry the, uh, not the, not the Citadel, the, uh, oh, the one we like the blue no, Magellan Magellan. Thank you. I remembered it when I was there. I was like, yeah, we don't, we, you know, guys don't, he's like, I know. He's like, we haven't carried that for several years. I was like, yeah, I said, that's one of my favorites. But I told him rum runner has it sometimes. And I said, sometimes you can get it bad. he's like, Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> So then I, I asked him, I said, I said, well, is there anything new in whiskey? He said, that's not like, you know, crazy expensive that I should be looking at. So we went over and we talked whiskey for a while. So I bought a whiskey too. So we'll try that. It's a bottled in bond. Mm, okay. Uh, it, the brand is called Wolcott. Name sounds familiar. I know I had seen some of those bottles before in some of those lists. Like okay. I didn't sit there and break up a list, but uh, I like the bottled in bond stuff. That's always, you know, means a hundred proof. Um, so it's kind of at that level of being a little bit stronger, but not getting, getting too high. Uh, and they had some other ones that, but he said that one was getting some really good reviews and he, and he liked it. And, and the tasting notes he was kind of giving me sounded very unique and different. Like he said, you know, some cherry in there and some, some caramel and some popcorn and some different things. So it's like, not a bourbon. Something. It's a whiskey. <clears throat> I'd have to look at technically at what they're calling it. Okay. Uh, well, bottled in bond. Does that mean it is bourbon hundred proof? Technically. How does oh, I that... don't know if that term is specific to bourbon. Maybe. So that's uh, not town of Wolcott, not Wolcott, Connecticut. I probably spelled it wrong. It's fine. Just have Google fix me. 
Straight bourbon. Okay. There's that one. Uh, not that one. Did I spell it right? W-O-L-C-O-T. Hold, please. Uh, this is it this oh, one. Oh, there you go. Yes. Yeah, bourbon. Bourbon, okay. I can't remember if it says the mash, but, but this one, I think it's a Sazerac brand, I believe. I'd have to double check the label. So it's that Sazerac, I think so, which is Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace, I think, yeah. Yeah, so it's all in that okay. line of things. Uh, but yeah, this one is actually done, it's in Kentucky. This one doesn't say on there. But it was in a slightly different place than one at some of the other Wolcott, so it was kind of a different... Uh, play on that too but anyway it's not a good 45 but i was like all right i'll try that that one was 45 dollars, so i grabbed that one too oh and and, and another podcast and, and get all these things out of the way i picked up a bottle of the uh of the uh aaron paul and uh, brian cranston mezcal oh so okay. we can finally have another mezcal i keep have asking you for mezcals mezcal. you don't want to bring any of the tables i'm like all right fine, that I'll one doesn't one. chip hasn't chipped the sons of they bitches. got us all teased with the oh del tigre <laughs> I the tiger rock. The famous cartoon. Yeah. Ojo del tigre. El tigre. I just remember Ojo del okay. tigre. Uh, they, do they think they'll ever ship it? I don't know. That things, 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 things show up and you think, okay, this probably when I'm going to get it. And, yeah. Is that a... I did get the Willet back though. The, oh, nice. That came... Yeah, I guess it was held up in, of all places, Kingman. <laughs> they <laughs> wouldn't let it go. Yeah. Just wouldn't let it go. What is that still at? Because I just saw it at Total 56. Wine today. Six ninety nine. It's still four dollars cheaper. Yeah, yeah Total Wine is still sixty bucks. Fifty nine ninety nine. Yeah. Well, as 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 we just saw when we looked up the uh, uh, the Terramana Tequila was a dollar cheaper than Total Wine had, which surprises That's me. True. Usually we're like the same or a little bit more on the that kind of stuff. So, but uh, not always. But not always. Uh, but yeah. Well, I like I said, I think that'll be an interesting one to try. Maybe I'll put up a poll of which. See which three people are interested for next week. Let people pick if they're interested in. Oh my now, gosh. next week, I actually have to work Thursday. What? So we might. Our streak need is to, broken. I know it might need to be broken. Yeah, because that's the. I had to do some trading of shifts because. Uh, I'm glad you said shifts. Yeah, and well, you don't want to trade that. <laughs> oh, no. Trading of shifts much yeah. much better than the other. <laughs> Thing. Uh, yeah, take out the think, F. Well, what don't take one of mine. <laughs> yeah. um, back to George Carlin from last week. <laughs> there you go. Um, so yeah, so I well, I had to I had to pick up somebody's Thursday shift so that I could get the weekend off because we're we're making that trek northward. Oh, is that is northward that next weekend? weekend? Yes. Oh, okay. For some yeah. reason, I thought that was like a week after. That. Okay. No. Well then, yes. <clears throat> well, you have a Thursday shift anyway, so you're working a double. Normally work. No, it's an evening. It's like a. Oh. Yeah, it's it's like I, I'm working until like six thirty or something like that. So you got to drink before then. Yeah. Well, so we'll, we'll so come the bar on my lunch. Podcasting will be on around uh, seven a.m. We'll uh, do seven to nine. <laughs> we'll do the early morning. <laughs> do the early morning. The early morning podcast. Mimosas and. <laughs> There's no one out there. <laughs> There's no one here. Actually, who knows? There might be a lot of people like, oh my god, let me drink vicariously through them at that early in the morning. Or or if we just have coffee and. Yeah. Juice, <laughs> coffee, coffee and juice. Join us for the uh, the brunch version, the brunch edition of About Beverages. Oh my God, that would be pretty funny, actually. As we uh, make up make up some scrambled eggs and uh, <laughs> yeah. have some coffee and a loaf of bread and juice, container milk and a stick of butter and a stick of butter. Yeah. Uh, all right, should we go? I was thinking the wine, probably. We have the wine. I don't the know. Tequila. I mean, I mean, the tequila is gonna be lighter, but it's a higher proof. Yeah, probably the wine. I think we could probably have the wine and be. Yeah. yeah. You want to do the wine then? I think, I think that sounds good. Okay. Let's, uh, good. Yeah, we'll let's... go in progression of alcohol. There you go. I like that. Okay. All right. We will turn that off. All right. So we're going to take a quick break. We're going to go grab the wine, which we'll have. It's the Empathy Red Blend 2018. Uh, that is the final in the trifecta of all the Empathy wines that we've been trying. We tried the Rosé, which that podcast is up right now as we speak up on YouTube. Uh, the White Wine will be up next week. Okay. Uh, and then, I don't know, we may, I don't know, maybe we'll take a break from doing them right in the room. Like maybe we'll wait a week on the red, because that's a lot of wine. Build the anticipation. Right? Yeah, something like that. Because if you desperately want to see the white or the red, this full podcast now goes up the following Tuesday, also on YouTube. All, like, a couple that's hours true. of so it goes up there. there. So it's already all there. So if you actually want to see the Rosé and the White, like, right now, you could go watch both of those it's true it's just not in fully edited form right uh, i think i've also done tiktoks of both of those but the tiktok not going yet but man when it hits 
TikTok, you don't stop. TikTok, and I'm saying in a, in a couple weeks, is, like I said, there'll be an announcement very soon. We'll get we'll get this together, um, but I'm uh, excited to do that. All right, take a quick break, and we will be. Whoops, not that one. Hold on. Hope you're ready. Oh my God, keep trying to knock over the table just as we get back here. I gotta I, see I, how it is. I realized I had to get my chair a little closer because. It was uh, my back was starting to hurt. <clears throat> Staying in that certain position, I have to be able to just rest a little bit real quick and, and come get right, right back. back into it. That's right. Get right back into the full just action. Rock there. Back, come back. I'm trying to find the like. I found those nice like cut sheets last time that had like the grape varietals uh, of these these previous empathy wines. I'm having oh, trouble finding this uh, one. It looks like there's kind of one there. Yeah, I looked at that. It didn't. It just seemed like instru- like information, like oh, tasting okay. notes and stuff. I'm trying to think of what those were called. Let's see if I can find. Can't remember if I left it the name that uh, the other ones were. Maybe I can search for that verbiage. Uh, We're going to little open this up, let it breathe just slightly as we're opening this. Uh, tech sheet. Let's see let if that'll work. <laughs> let it breathe. The lesser known, lesser known song. Let it breathe. No, not fu- that's funny. I know that one was like so easy to find last time. It's like their website, they've changed a little bit uh, recently. We hope it's a good vintage. Let it breathe. And when the bottle's open, we will fill the glass in front of me. (laughs) Save some for tomorrow. (laughs) Let it breathe. (laughs) When I find an empty decanter, Mother Mary comforts me. Go get another bottle of empathy. Let Let it it breathe. breathe. Let it breathe. (laughs) <laughs> let it breathe let it breathe oh that's good God. hopefully we're not getting in trouble right now we're just we're off also hopefully we, we're off key we've enough gone dark yeah, there yeah. you go yeah. <laughs> wait a minute twitch shut us down uh yeah I don't when see. they when they see. scrub through everything they will have to they'll, they'll take out that 30 seconds we should just like and maybe after we finish it'll be like thank you paul mccartney for being on our show and letting us use that, <laughs> that <Yeah>. song <laughs> It'd be funny if it actually scrubbed for those words. Like if you could just say that at the end yeah. of everything, yeah. you just like go. <laughs> it's like, thank you, Metallica, for being here in the studio and letting your music be well, playing. Then Google would just say, okay, now you're just liars. <laughs> you're like, we can handle the bad singing. So that's, we can let that go, maybe. Yeah. But now you just lied. You're just Paul lying. McCartney that's right. and Metallica are not in here. Because no one lies on the internet. Not a single soul. Oh, that's, that's well, already the internet. <laughs> you got Let me there. Let it breathe. Let it breathe. Uh, <laughs> we could actually write some lyrics to that. Uh, oh, okay. I <laughs> this this is the one that actually does happen to be actually on their website. I hadn't even looked. Oh, uh, so this has, you were making it harder. I was making it way it more previous, more difficult. Okay. All right. Uh, this one has Petite Syrah, Syrah, Cab Sauvignon, and uh, obviously Cab uh, and Zinfandel. So that's. Probably not good you told me that. I have high hopes for this. Blog. I know. I was just thinking as soon as I saw those two, <laughs> like, a lot of you really knocked out some of my favorites yeah, right there. So yeah. I'm like, oof. Yeah. No, but then maybe this is so good, then it'll actually say, that is worth it. I'm going to go spend. Keep, you'll get yes. out your Google wallet right now, and you'll say, send me a bottle of empathy send me a, red. Send me a bottle of that yes. to have uh, around for the holidays. Um... Yeah, I think we're pretty much that. All right, we're going to record a podcast. What is a podcast, you might ask, if you haven't been here before? Well, podcasts, they started about 15 years ago. Uh, no, uh, we, uh, we record these podcasts uh, every week. Usually we get a couple of them done. They wind up going up on YouTube where you can subscribe to us. We'd greatly appreciate that. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's about it. We do it live so you can see all the behind the scenes stuff. You'll see a little bit more of our conversation back and forth because, you know, when you edit it down, it's, it's kind of good. Like if I'm, it seems like if our podcasts are over about 10 minutes long, I get complaints. <laughs> we hear about it from We hear from about you. it. Actually, not from you. They probably are people who are in here right now probably don't. But the, the average person coming by that yeah. doesn't know what they're, yeah. 
tends I, to think that we are, I guess, a little too much. That's why I'm thinking the TikToks might be fire. I have actually edited down, I think, five of our podcasts now that will be going up on TikTok. They are previous ones, uh, and I'm trying to keep up with some of these. I may even just start doing having one of these weekly, uh, whichever one we put up on, on YouTube. And I've edited them down to one minute. It's a very fun exercise. Oh, you showed me a couple of those last week. I did, yeah, and I did a couple more. I, I think both the Empathy Wine one I have completed because I did the white also that's going to be up next week. So I got that one done, and I already did a TikTok of that one and kind of going. It's it's a fun exercise because it's weird cutting out so much and looking for just like these quick bits of us and, and being able to, to not look because there's a lot of times we're tr- trying to find where there's good back and forth as well, like to make sure that it's not just like, Wow, that whole thing was all Keith. He just wouldn't <laughs> shut up. Oh God, Andrew won't stop talking. You know, being able to find like those bits back and forth. Interaction. It, it's been, it's, it's, it's kind of fun. It's also hard too, because there's definitely ones where I had it edited down to like a minute and a half. And there was some bit that I just thought was so clever. I was like, it just can't stay though. It could be part two. I could do a part. You, you can do that. Yeah. Yeah. They'll say, part you know, two? check. Yeah. Check for part two. Like if the I had sequel. Them, if you had them go longer, we could literally have just like, you know, like aroma or like that little bit be the first minute and then say like and follow for part two or whatever. And then it, oh, but for right now, yeah. I've just got it down to a minute. If I ever okay. really needed to, if something needed some, exp- like maybe if we ever did like another, we're doing three of this thing or two of that thing, then yeah, I couldn't get that down to a minute. So maybe that would have to be three parts or something. But anyway, anyway, anywho, Anyway, um, but yeah, so when we do uh, these official videos that are going to go up, I do remove a couple things here from the video just to kind of, excuse me, clean it up just a little bit. So Let it stand alone. If for some reason you were just about to subscribe, just about to follow and want to see the whole shebang and excitement, wait about 10 or 15 minutes until uh, we're done with this and then you can have all the hoopla. That's a hoopla. Thank you. Good. <laughs> hoopla. Hoopla. Okay. Yeah, you can have all of that. Well, sumptuous. Lip moistening. Oh, probably my favorite SpongeBob episode. Oh, okay. I was like, I was like, wow. What is this? This went to some other. Just level. remember poop. Yeah, poop. Yeah. People order, order our order patty. patties. Patties. <laughs> uh, oh, poop! You never <clears throat> let us down. Well, I figured since we'd already had the other two. <laughs> We might as well have the third, right? You don't want that one to just be sitting all alone. Yeah. By itself in the wine fridge. Yeah. Wondering where it's other two empathy, empathy brothers have gone. <laughs> and now there it is. That's We're that's, having it. Isn't that that song? Where have all the empathy brothers gone? <laughs> where is my John Wayne? Where is my prairie son? I don't know what the rest of that goes. But yeah, I figured at some point I was like, yeah, that'd be kind of weird if we did these other two. And then it's like, well, how come they didn't do that one? Was it that bad or was it that? What? No, we're going to do a full review and check this one out. So we do have the uh, 2018 Empathy Wines Red Blend for this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are aboutbeverages.com. And the beverage that we're about today <laughs> is the one I just said. <laughs> it's the one you just said. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> You've taken my bit. <laughs> That's okay. I did. I stole it's it. It's okay. It's good to mix it up a little bit. That's throw true. that curveball uh, <laughs> so people don't know exactly what's going to happen. The people being me. Uh, no. <laughs> no, it's funny. As I, as I was doing the intro, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I kept rolling there. Oh my God, I'm going to go with it. And then I think we both might laugh and that's exactly what happened. So, uh, but yes, as Andrew said, and I will repeat once again, we're about the empathy uh, red blend uh, today. We've had the rosé and the white on the, on two previous podcasts. And, uh, and normally I'm not really a big red wine fan, especially when it's, uh, no, I like red wine, but not when it starts to get hot. And it's starting to get warm. Which that's nine months out of the year in nine Arizona. Months, that's true. So it's not a very <laughs> large red wine window of opportunity for me. Um, but uh, I was like, you know what? Yeah, let's try it. And then when you mentioned the wines that are in, the grapes that are in this, which are, I think, Syrah, Petit Syrah, Cab, and Zinfandel. Yes. Those are those are some favorites. And uh, so I have uh, I have already probably high hopes. I probably should maybe, you know, ratchet them down just a little bit. I was but just going to say just, that. Let's just approach it in a, in a neutral fashion and, and hopefully uh, be rewarded. So. Yeah. So I bought this as part of the uh, collection that they had. Uh, it was uh, $60 for all three bottles. So break it down when you look at all their other offerings. It's basically $20 a bottle uh, is what they're going for. But it is, in theory, a premium wine at a slightly discounted uh, price of some sort. But you're not losing out on anything. Uh, you know, uh, they, uh, this organization, they worked, you know, with different growers throughout California to come together to put together these blends. Uh, it has since been, we learned over these last few podcasts, it is no longer completely a uh, Gary Vaynerchuk joint. He sold it off 
He and he, I guess he had two partners as well. So the three okay. original partners sold it. They said nay, uh, yes. but still consulting. At least at the be, at least right after the sale, he was still consulting. I don't know uh, if he still is, but at least recently, we received a, a like from him. We did. It was uh, very something nice. we put up. So uh, so he obviously still has some sort of connection. Or at least fondness. Or had some empathy for us or in our podcast. Say, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Which we appreciate. Um, so yeah, I am definitely very excited. Like I said, yeah, those same four too. I, I agree. As I read them to you as doing our pre-show, you were kind of like, I almost wish you hadn't read those to me because my <laughs> excitement is a little bit higher. Would you say definitely like probably Sarah or Petit Sarah or a couple of, definitely a couple of your favorites, right? I really like Sarah and I'm a big Zinfandel fan yeah. too. So those are, those are all good grapes. Very good dark. grapes, y'all. Very, very dark. Yeah. I can... Kind of see the bottom of my glass, like, but it's yeah, but definitely it's taking a little work there. A nice that is, purpley red going on there. Yeah, that uh, that is definitely very you would think very jammy and inviting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> that uh, smells good. I don't yeah, think we don't, need, we don't need to pause there. <laughs> like, gonna, that's, no. that smells really oh, good. Wow. We did just take this, uh, I had this in my little uh, wine fridge, uh, so we're, you know, like, so we're kind of letting it warm up a little bit. We opened it just before we started as well to kind of hopefully let it, let it breathe slightly. Um, it hasn't had a lot of time to do that, but definitely already a lot of ripe fruit coming through yeah, there. Yeah, some nice blackberry, some... Some cherry going through there, a little yep, raspberry. A little bit of that. Um, yeah, some nice dark fruit, maybe even... No, not quite plum, but there's, yeah, there's some just really nice fruit going on in there. There's something a little sweet too. Like, I don't know, not, not quite sweet. It's almost like a, a leather, like an oaking kind of, I know that's probably, mm. I don't think that was involved, but there's a little bit of that in there too. Well, it probably, like, I'm like guessing a, it spent some time in a barrel somewhere yeah, along the way, that's but true. Uh, I don't know if it said anything. <laughs> it was a barrel that. involved. I mean, it could have been stainless, but I doubt that. But. Is there a knuckle involved? <laughs> that's my move. That's my move. And so we do the counterclockwise swirl for this thing? I think we should then. <laughs> no, this this smells fantastic. Yeah. So at least that part has lived up. Should we actually taste it then? Because I have a feeling the roller coaster could <laughs> go done. down. I'm worried. No. I'm worried. No. That's where our review stops. <laughs> okay. All right. No. Shall we? We shall. That wasn't counterclockwise at all. No. I don't know if I can counterclockwise roll. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess I... No, that's clockwise. Oh, no, I do the counterclockwise yeah. roll. Do you? I think that's what I do normally. <laughs> Just your normal move? Last pocket. Pocket is usually <laughs> counterclockwise roll. <laughs> An introvert. Three cheers to you, too. Yes, Sorry you came in here you. As, we, yeah. as we had started recording. Like apologies. Right, of, right at the beginning, almost there. Yeah, apologies. How are you this evening? Good to see you. You get a discount if you order. Subscribe and save. No. No. <laughs> so everything they sell is 20 bucks. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And they just have the white, the red, and the rosé? Correct. So you can get the okay. collection that has one of each, uh, or you can buy each of the other ones, and you always buy at least three of them. Okay. They do have a... a subscribe where you can, like, monthly keep getting three bottles, or, wow, bi-monthly. Subscribe and save 20%. <laughs> drink a lot of bottles of wine if you're drinking bi-monthly. Well, I mean, I have people come into the store every week, and they buy a case of wine. So they're... I mean, are almost weekly. And so, anyway. And they have 2018 and 2019 of the white. They do have a 2020 now. It literally just popped up in the last week of the rosé. Uh, so they have a new variant uh, of that one that's fresh this year. So that's kind of, they kind of do that every once in a while. Wine subscriptions exist. They totally do. Oh, yes. They totally do. It's crazy. I love the wine tech service too. Like I have not bought a ton of stuff there from there lately, but that's even like more addictive. That's getting him a, too, right? Yeah. Getting a text like every, that one he's more directly involved because that's his parents, the wine library okay. uh, store. But like that one, you get a text every morning. Like, oh, interesting. Like, <laughs> you're like There's a lot of Thanks, encouragement Gary there v. too. Yeah. I mean, the, and the shipping is really good and it's always been, you know, pretty 
they might be coming to the point, at least here in Southern Arizona, where they'll slow down their shipping. I remember that the first time I started getting stuff from them, remember all of a sudden they were like, we're holding shipments to certain areas because it was getting so hot. Oh, yeah. Want the right, wine, so. right, right. And because of the distance, it's out of New Jersey for that one specifically. Okay. You ready? I think so. Okay. There's not as much fruit as I thought there was going to be, but there's still enough there. And it's not, it's a little thinner than I thought. I thought it might have more body. Hmm. Seems and like it's there's still some got good a, weight to it though. Yeah, Were you expecting like a really, like a lot of head? I think I was expecting a little more than that, but okay. that being said, I don't know if that was necessarily correct. Uh, not, not correct. It was cause that's what I was. I don't know if that was necessarily appropriate. Those expectations. Okay. Um, I was just thinking because of those, what we smelled and those grapes, I thought this could be, um, but it, but there's enough of that there as well. There's still a little bit of the chill on it. Um, so I think more flavor will evolve as that cools down, but that's, that's very good. And, and for what, 14.9%. Yeah. It's almost is, 15% alcohol. Too. It is very, very smooth. Actually. It's not, I don't think it has a lot of heat at all. I don't, that was actually one of the things that I was most surprised at. I don't think, yeah, I don't get any alcohol at all for no. this. And I think that's because, and that's maybe why I perceive that there's a little more body there to kind of douse that down a little Cause sometimes when a wine gets a little thin and there's some ABV to it, like I right. notice it a little bit more. Um, but no, I think the flavor here is great. It's a little initially dry to me on the sip, uh, but that goes away really quickly. And I think yeah. that's just natural of, you know, of the varietals that are in there. You're going to get some of that, uh, you know, not quite like tannic. It's not like, you know, but there's just a little bit of, of that going on. But no, it's great fruit flavor. It's not quite as over the top uh, as the aroma, which was fantastic. It's just right. like you said, a notch below that. But excellent. I am very happy with this. So this is probably this one and the rosé have been my two favorites for sure. The white was still good. It just was like I said, just a little more yeah. for me, middle of the road where, uh, like I enjoyed that. Uh, I know it's a little bit of, uh, apples to grapes. Um, but, uh, the, like I said, the past that we had, like I enjoyed that white, like right. a lot more recently. Like, and I would rather have yeah. like three bottles of that as opposed to, you know, oh, the I, other yeah, one. Right. but of these, like I said, but of these other two, like I said, definitely the Rose, I know that's playing a little bit more for Rose, but that one was so unique to me. I really liked it. And this is, a very, this is, no, this is very, this is probably my favorite of the three. Okay. And it's, and like I said, normally this time of the year, I'm not in, in, enjoying red wine just because of the, but it was a little, it was cool enough today. The breeze and it was <laughs> cool. It? Yeah. And, then, and it this is just too bad really, today. this is just a, this, no, I, I like, I like that wine quite a bit. All right. Well, hopefully uh, you've enjoyed uh, all three of these uh, wines that we have had from Empathy. If you missed any of the previous ones, the rosé or the white that we were talking about, definitely check out aboutbeverages.com. Uh, you can find all of the reviews and tastings that we have done over the last decade are there as long as well as those, of course. Uh, and if you'd like, you can even find the latest videos on YouTube. You can subscribe there and always uh, get notified when we've got new content up, uh, whether it's tastings or lately now a little bit of video game footage. Just a touch here or there, just <laughs> dabbling it in there, just, you know, kind of spicing it in there just a little bit. Uh, if you only want audio, we do have all your podcast needs taken care of. Google Podcast, iTunes, uh, Spotify, all those things. Uh, you can uh, search your favorite podcast app for About Beverages and you will find us. Do we have anything else? Currently, I think... Still three? Still three. The same three? Same three. Soon to, I, I keep thinking, I don't know if we'll, either we'll remove one or there could become a fourth. There, you know, there could be some, some TikTok making a slide in there, but for right now, just three. So right now, the three pillars of social media. And those three for us are Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, which is where we are most active. And you will find, uh, find us updating you on what's going on here. Uh, like earlier tonight, before we started recording, I let everybody know that we were about to go live on twitch.tv slash about beverages, um, which is on most Thursday nights. We go live around 530. Uh, we record these podcasts. We drink some other things. We talk about, we just talk about all kinds of stuff and, and interact with our, with our audience. Uh, also throughout the week, Andrew lets you know what he's doing in the gaming world and what he's drinking while he's doing it and all that good stuff. But yeah, follow us on Twitter and you can keep up to date with about beverages. But as we always say, whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. And that is a podcast. Did I say empathetic shot last time? You did. Okay. All right. I didn't want to. Batgirl, do that thank you for the shameless plug. I appreciate it. Oh, that's dangerous wine then if you can't taste it. Yeah, I do not taste like any alcohol. No, it's very, sometimes with those, they can be a little bit hot. But I think maybe, maybe that's what has 
like you kind of you said uh, maybe rot the body or the fruit down a little bit it's because maybe the alcohol it's it's sort of like neutralizing that yeah and so that's that's good no that's that's really this could be a food wine this could also just be a a, a sipper that you just i could easily crack yeah, it open and pour yeah. some of the, yeah that would work for both back early yeah. it's so good to see you how are you doing yeah, this it's been evening? a while well Dang. at least for us yeah on, on a thursday night so dang i need that wine i have been very happy like i said for me uh like i know like i said it's a little little bit more than sometimes what we have paid as as usual for wine uh like so you know maybe especially for you because you're usually finding some good values and that's what you look for you like yeah. finding the best for a value right and uh, i whereas, have access to that four or five you know five days a week so yeah that's you know also part of it too but but for me like i said between the rosé and this red blend like i said these two are both winners i could see uh like you know definitely purchasing these again i almost would buy a three pack of this because this is really good you know just to have these this, this is a I think this is a great one to be able to take over to somebody's house. I think everyone's going to kind of appreciate As long as you're a red wine drinker, I think you're going to really appreciate that. Yep. Good, just eating dinner, chilling. My dinner, your wine would be perfect, to be honest. So let's combine. But let's combine powers. Oh, my God. We'll ship you wine. You ship us food. <laughs> There's <laughs> actually a little bit of oak coming out as that warms up for me. A little bit of vanilla kind of underneath that. Um, I'm even getting that in the aroma now, too. No, that's what I, I would. Yeah, I would order... I was going to three pour. bottles of this as opposed to the personally. I didn't I guess I didn't dislike either of the other two. I just don't know. You hated them. I see. See, I know my brother. He's <laughs> that's what he's this is when no, he's that's trying to say. I'm actually this is this is cool because I was excited to try this with the grapes that you mentioned mm -hmm. and definitely um, it lived up to uh, lived up to what I thought it could be. So I wonder if it's the same. Let's see. So it was Syrah, Petite Syrah, Zinfandel and Cab. Yes. Okay, so 2019. Let's see if there's anything different here, grape varietal wise. Pizza, Sarah, Cab, and now it seems like the same. Okay. Okay, but this one, what? No, is that the same? I think it's the same vintners too. Double check. Yeah. Okay. So everything seems to be the same thing there, right. but um, if the 2018, which it seems to be, is still available, yeah, I, I easily recommend this one. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I wanted to pour just a little bit more, but then I was like, oh, I don't want it to chill anymore. I kind of want this to warm up so I can get a little oh, more. Oh, right. So I was like, right. I'll let that sit so it can warm up just a little bit more. Yeah, I I wouldn't order the collection again because the white I wouldn't really want. Right. So, yeah, I would either pick one or the other, depending on what I was feeling. You could do a case and you'd do eight and four. No, nine and three. I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. You could do nine and three. I mean, because you could order just... A six and a three and then a whatever. Too bad you can't mix and match because at 12 bottles, they actually give you free shipping. Right. Yeah, it's an, uh, I noticed that. But yeah, I would easily order, like I said, uh, another three bottles of this one for sure. Extremely drinkable. Yeah, I same. So I guess that just depends. I just saw the first like review comment there. Someone said great value. It, that, that, that depends it, on your perspective. I did see that, and I, see, I was about to make a comment. I was like, you know what? That's the exact same thing we say. Where I'm like, well, it's twenty dollars. You know, this is you know, this is pretty good. And someone else would be like, boy, that's expensive. Yeah, you know. Yeah, for wine, for me, especially with where I work, twenty dollars is expensive because I can you know get bottles you know either than the platinum or the Grand Reserve for you know thirteen or. Fifteen dollars that are, and then you get a discount on top of that. And, well, yeah, and, but then that's even not, taking that out, then. even taking yeah, that though. out of the equation. I mean, there are uh, great finds, I think, at, at, at Trader Joe's for sure. Um, and so, I think that just depends upon your perspective. Um, I don't know. Maybe you know, would this be a uh, you know, if those vin those uh, wineries that made this for them, you know, what do their blends go for? Maybe they're something like this is. I don't know. I've never forty dollars. Uh, you know, I don't know. Because some of these, you know, vineyards out there, they have this cult following and they sell out. But I'm not saying those two are, but. Spanish varietal know. wines in Lodi, California. Yes, I'm 21 over. A wine in Spanish. Our Tarantino received 90 points from wine enthusiasts. It would be interesting to try oh, while well, they're in the 30s. Okay. They have a rose. Syrah. Garnacha, 24. So, okay. So, cheaper than those. Right. <laughs> Sorry, I was finishing my scallop potatoes. Things were fine. I saw some of your photos on Twitter of, of food, and as always, it makes me very hungry, even if I've just had dinner. Always. Fan favorite, 168Ks. 
Okay, so that one's in a little bit. I wonder if it would be interesting now to try one of these in this blend that we like so much to pick out. Obviously, they look like they do more. Um, oh, petite for dough. Okay, so these, they're mid 30. Wow, they also have the price point of like it's either 30 or 24. Oh, wait, there's some different ones. There's Alberino. 60. Hmm. Grand Reserve. Well, that probably spends a lot of time in, in the bottle or. Uh, 2014, so that's yeah. seven years old. No, no, I don't know if I've had a lot of Tempranillos that I've like thought were amazing, but I probably haven't found the right one. Okay, so that one is like that. Let's see what is uh, Clay Shannon of Shannon Ridge. Well, that's how appropriately the name is that. Uh, Lake, Lake County, County Winery. Okay, should be included with a purchase of any full case. Ten dollar flat rate. Well, that's good flat rate shipping. High elevation reserve wines. I don't know what Buckshack. Oh, they do Buckshack. Baby Buckshack. Yeah, remember, that's where it's at. Remember the Buckshack? No. Oh wait. Oh yeah, that was the one uh, Baker got us. Oh, one okay, yeah. about. That was like a that's a like a bourbon barrel aged one. Okay, right. Uh, they Buck have a bourbon shack. barrel aged infinite. Here it is. This one right here. Bur bourbon Bur barrel aged cab. Shack. The Buck Shack. So one of the wineries that does this makes Buck Shack. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. That's where it's at. I didn't know that was that expensive. That can't be. That can't be right. Are they that expensive? I don't know. Baker might have been shelling out the bucks for I the guess, Buck Shack. I guess so. Uh, reserve wines. So in theory, the the grapes that they are getting from these vintners, it's about half the, uh, you know, yeah, a third, they're, a third they're dealing to half with off. wineries that yeah. sell their wines in the thirties, forties, fifties. So, two Bud Zinfandel, two thousand sixteen. See, like I wonder, like is that like? Do you think you would ever like drink something like that and say this is worth the price? Like. Are there flavors These that you could discussions. get? Are there flavors you could get? Because I know you're a little bit different on this than I am. Like I like will kind of keep going up in price if I keep getting a little bit more flavor where I think you in general will be like, that's not quite enough for me to add another, like let's say $10 or something like that's not. Whereas I'm like, oh, I'm getting a little more. This is really good. I it, will go up a little. I mean, obviously I wouldn't go no. crazy. It's not like I'm like, well, normally I drink $20 stuff, but for 170, I'll I mean, do like, that. I don't do that. But like, you know, this, like I'm like, ooh, $38, like, I could see like drinking something and saying like, oh my God, I can, I know why this is 40 bucks. I would definitely love having a bottle of this. To, well, that's you know, a discussion we've always had comparing a really, what's supposed to be a really good bottle of right. something that's a hundred dollars versus a $50 or a $20. So now it'd be interesting uh, is if they have a bottle of Zinfandel in two different styles. Cause we always talked about the neat thing to do would be to try from the same winery. Here's their $20 or $15, yeah. whatever. And then here's their like $40 grand right. reserve or something right. like that. So there's a $38 one there. They, uh, so the thing about that for me is it depends if it's, if it's a special uh, occasion event, uh, then yes, I will spend a little bit more, but also too, with wine, I get to a certain point where, you know, I, I, I'll do that with beer, but not necessarily wine. You know, I'll, I'll pursue that flavor in beer, but at wine, I get to a point where right. I don't, maybe I, I lose out on the, the nuances or it's just not, not as much my thing. I will enjoy it, but not as much. As Do you think that's beer. also a pricing though, too? Because even if you're doing a high pursuit of beer, unless you're buying a bomber, you're still probably staying under $10. Whereas high pursuit of wine means 30, 40. That, well, no, but I'm talking about when we, what we pay for, like we've paid twenty five thirty dollars for for bombers of, of beer. yeah of, the, for a bomber i'm just saying the, but currently yeah. like now when you look for flavors it's usually a high pursuit of a 16 ounce can that at max is going to hit you at seven or eight dollars like if you could find high pursuit True. of wine at twelve dollars for a can you'd be like oh you probably would the, yeah they're definitely into that. Yeah, no there's more of an accessibility of price some price also yeah, because you're no. the solo drinker too price and yeah for the most part when it comes to wine unless too. yeah yes especially with wine and yes uh um yeah, price definitely is a is a part of that for sure. So they do have a high elevation Zinfandel um, for twenty three, and then they have that which is a two thousand nineteen, and then they have one that's like five years old. I don't know what these differences are. Reserve wines, Clay Shannon, 
I expected more from it, more bourbon influence. Yeah, I remember it being a little bit lighter on that too. I thought it would. I do have a barrel, another barrel aged cab that I think it's one of the ones uh, Berserker. If he, I don't think he's here right now, but Berserker is as mentioned. And I just coincidentally had it. Yeah, is it definitely. As this gets more to room temperature, <laughs> yeah, this is has got more depth of aroma. It's not just the fruit. I don't have enough to try. Um, it's. Uh, it has that. I, it's got some vanilla. It's got some oak. So it's adding that layer in there too. I think. This is really good. Yeah. No, that's... Should we add back on the podcast? We, we loved it. <laughs> Addendum. This is delicious. Edit this into a second tech, TikTok video. <laughs> yeah, into the, Part the two. Bonus, tic, bonus TikTok here. We just uh, finished up trying. <laughs> As that came closer, to, it got closer to room temperature. Oh, man. Yeah. If you watch the full video, this is something you didn't get. You only get this here on TikTok. Yeah. Or yeah. you only get it here if you're with us live. That's right. On twitch.tv slash beverages most Thursday evenings. A little bit more just have it. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> That's also the name of my new channel. Ooh, ooh. Shannon Ranch. I don't know what. There's only one bottle involved here. Cab 2019. Oh. Interesting. You're ordering sake right now online. You should order. I uh, wish I, you could order it, but you should have uh, definitely get some the next time you're in the area. Uh, we still need to try. There's that Arizona sake, which is actually like the best sake outside of Japan. It's the mm. guy that actually learned from that's one of the things we keep talking about for podcasting that we haven't done yet uh, is we need to do that. But they have that at uh, tap and bottle. And that's one that's actually won awards like gold medal awards as being like literally, which it sounds like when I first saw it, I was like, this is silly. Arizona sake, really? And then it's like, you look it up. It's like, nope, this is legit. Yeah. He like studied at the feet of the masters and became the master. The people became the master. Old Pearl. Oh, it looked like there was two bottles there. Okay. Yeah, so you could get a Zinfandel that's got... Oh, they have a cab that's 2017. That one's also 38. Forty-four <laughs> percent came from the Round Mountain Vineyard. Charles Barkley has a vineyard? <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. that's a round mountain rebound. rebound. Yeah. Yeah. It's They'll great... be coming around the vineyard when they come. <laughs> that's a great nickname. Firm tannins that will soften with age. Not unlike myself. Your firm tannins are softening. Oh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to bookmark those. Because that would be interesting. I'm sure there's stuff more available that would be easier to get, but... That is definitely a podcast thing we've talked about a few times buying, you know, getting the, not necessarily like bottom of the barrel, but something in that like under $20 at least. Right. And then something that's, you know, significantly more, you probably have some more age on it, some more of everything and seeing if it uh, really is, it's worthy of paying that extra money. Like the, as uh, the uh, Pulp Fiction thing that I always love to quote, like, you know, where your money went <laughs> when it comes to the uh, heroin that he's shooting, you know, oh. Speaking of Quentin Tarantino, I heard uh, Steeler's on. Wheel on the way over. Oh, nice. <laughs> Little Reservoir Dogs action right yes. there. Stuck in the middle. I can never hear that song the same way again. <laughs> no. No good, but more painful. <laughs> it's more painful to the ears, and <laughs> yes. it's not because of the singing. Yeah, it's not because of the singing. Not because of the singing. No. Yeah, that's good. I would, yeah, I would, I would probably buy that one for... A, would you buy uh, it? I'd, I'd, I'd buy it for Thanksgiving. Would you buy a three pack of that then to have it? Because that's I don't I'd buy it. Th yeah, no. Or I'd say, I hey, I'll, I'll take two of those off your hands. Or um, I'll buy one of them from you. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. Something like that. Oh, that's the so next time I order. So if I were to happen to order a three pack of those, would you buy one of them from me? I think I might. Okay. Yeah. That's good to know. Yep. <clears throat> I'm, te I'm tempted to, because <laughs> like, that's just really good. That's just a good... I would have that. I think it would great... age all right for... Uh, I don't think you'd need, you don't need to age it. I think it no, would be good all. age for a couple of years. And like I said, be good definitely uh, with a variety of, of cuisines. Yeah. Or by it, itself. It, yeah, it has some heft that'll hold up to a lot of things, but I don't think it's... Even though it's very flavorful, I don't think it's going to overpower things. I think it's going to blend well with, like you said, a lot of different... Yeah. options which is which is pretty cool like it's yep. it's kind of hard to find that usually it's one of the and yeah great like you could just open it's like i'm just going to sit outside and you could actually do this with a burger 
Oh God, yeah, yeah, that'd be good. I one. would probably put this as like I would probably soak some of my ground beef in that a little bit, <laughs> oh, and make a little, okay. yeah, a little red wine burger, like have a little reduction on there or something like like you caramelize some uh, onions in this and then had that actually on top of the burger with some like a little maybe like some smoky like some smoked gouda or something like that. Wow. Okay, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Batgirl, are you taking notes? You got to make this. I better see this in your next uh, your next Twitter recipe. It's got to be a it's a burger, and you're gonna like uh, do a little marinade with this uh, red wine, and then you're gonna do some uh, red onions in the red wine. Uh, probably some garlic in there too, and that's gonna kind of reduce down a little bit. Uh, smoked gouda. Um, I don't know. Do we have anything else on there? I could probably put some bacon on there. Yeah, probably throw a little bacon on sure. there too. A little bacon on there too, and then this is on the side. So yep. there you go. You got your next idea. You got the weekend. I expect to expect full report. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty funny. Oh, wow, that was a sneaky one. I did. Oh man, snuck this up on the, you. Uh, yes, yeah. Well, just like uh, uh, the team fight tactics story of the week, just like a good winning streak will sneak up on you sometimes. Also, does a bad losing streak. So, is there for a good losing streak? Well, it does a losing streak. <laughs> uh, but there's so there's there's the silver lining in this story here, <laughs> okay. um, because while I have fallen from plat two okay. down to plat four, Pocket has re-entered the plat territory. Oh, just as of today, she got into plat four. So, are you saying you guys matched up against each other and you threw? No, we d- okay. <laughs> no, we, it has never worked out that we. I mean, we've played each other in a game that didn't count. There were some certain uh, like milestones or something she was trying to get, so we played a couple of times, and that was fun. But um, I could go for that right now. Yeah. I know that sounds like could go for a really good burger. Right so now. yeah, so I had been as like I was I was hovering in there, and I dropped down to the three, and I'd come back, and then drop, and then last night oh, was, it, was it bad? Usually every 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 other night is a is a good night or bad night. Have you thought uh, about just taking those nights off then? I should take if you every have the other good night, night off. If, if you have the good night, then you should know you should just take the next, play the next day. Don't play the That's next right. day. Do something but, else. But uh, we actually played a little bit later last night because uh, uh, Ben was actually on and Paco was with a good group during her doing her ARAM thing. And so I played I played more. And yeah, sometimes you just hit those stra- streaks. But yeah, I received a, I got a picture today and Pocket was back in the plat. So. That's awesome. Back Congratulations. Plat, so <laughs> back she's in there. Plat. So that so there is good news. Yeah, <laughs> he'll get there again. <laughs> I'll get back up someday. There. Yes. Uh, were you drinking something delicious though at the time? Did that at least make up for it? Were you having? A little, um, a well, tasty not beverage? last night. Uh, the night before, I was having the Waldo's on four twenty. Oh, I that's a, right. I, I expected. You tweeted, and I expected to look at our Twitter feed and see that you had done that. I thought Andrew will have had a four twenty. He had to have had one. <laughs> he had to have had a Waldo's on four twenty. So I was like, no, okay, I did it. I tried one or had one and. So that was good, yes. Um, yeah, those those are still delicious. I've got a few different like stouts still from Tombstone. They have that one that I have not I've not had yet. And like I said, I still need to still need to have those. But yeah, that's been I've been definitely sticking with a little bit lighter fare when it comes to my beers, even though I've still been buying those. Yeah, this mm. is just really good. It is. <laughs> it's just Very really good. delicious. Damn. So how much wrestling do you watch? Uh, well, zero is a number. And that is the number. That's the same number I watch, too. <laughs> I honestly don't know how people still watch wrestling. But fine, if that's the entertainment you like. Okay. I don't get it. Yeah. I don't get it. Uh, but uh, speaking of former wrestlers. Former wrestlers. Former wrestlers uh, turned uh, amazing, huge movie stars slash entrepreneurs. Oh, that's right. Okay. Slash, uh, um, I don't know, uh, he was a football player in college too, right? Yeah, I think he went to Miami like right around the One time, of like yeah. Ray Lewis, some somewhere in there. I think he yeah. was, yeah, I think he was with Miami. I think he even admits though that he was like just keeping the bench warm or something like that. I don't think he got to play much <clears throat> that I'm aware of. But uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson has uh, moved into the tequila realm. It's been a, it's been out for a little while, right? Yeah, no, we've carried this as long as we've had well for over a year now at the store. Okay. So I right. know it's been around at least that long, and I'm sure longer. So. I can't stop smelling this. <laughs> so delicious. Yeah, no, this was a, a pleasant, uh, a pleasant surprise for sure. I mean, not a pleasant surprise. It was a pleasant. I was, I was glad that pleasant it, not to be let it, down. It, yeah, it it <laughs> rose to my the the what what I was thinking it could be. So, and surpassed actually. I 
because Gary V was once associated with, actually still is associated. Yeah, still at some point. Okay, in some way. He still likes it. He uh, still tweeted. He we'll still, take that. He still said, he still said he liked it. That's all that matters. He still said that. <laughs> That's just going to be our thing. We just keep putting it's up It's our claim on. to fame. <laughs> That'll be our Twitter One picture. of them. You were Harris Heller's second to the last raid before he left. <laughs> That's true. Twitch. And Gary V liked our photo. That's right. And Gary V liked our photo. And we've got a few beverages from people. And so anyway. That's true. That is funny. You, ever, you got the ice cream, right? But it arrived badly. <laughs> Yeah, we had. Uh, uh, I don't. I think it's. I think it's been delayed long enough. We can probably talk about it. We actually had an ice cream, uh, and I won't say the name of it. That we had an ice cream and like dessert company reach out to us, um, and they they even said like, "Hey, I know this is kind of like you guys don't normally do like food of any kind, but actually we have this ice cream, uh, and it's made with uh, with like it's made with beer." Um, like I said, I won't, don't want to get too specific in case like you can probably look that stuff up. But anyway, they made an ice cream with beer and they're like, Hey, we'd like to send it to you. Uh, yeah. Exceeded expectations. Um, like I said, so they, you know, and then they're like, Oh, and we, you know, we, we they, their big push is that they were like the shipping all over like the country now. And they had this really good shipping process and like all this stuff. And they're like, we'd love you to try it if you want to talk about it. And they're like, it's, it's this flavor of the month. And then initially, uh, it wasn't like by the time we kind of went back and forth and they were a little slow at getting back to us on some things, which was kind of, you know, I'm sure they were very busy, a small company and whatever. And so they got back, you know, they kept getting back to us. Um, and they were like, Oh, okay, well, yeah, like, you know, we want to get it to you, but would you be able to like do something with it? This, this Friday, like it was like within like a couple of days, like if we shipped it out and we're like, well, no, that's, here's how our, I even told them like, here's how our scheduling works. Um, you know, we could do a live show, but it wouldn't be for a week. And then we could turn it around, you know, whether we liked it or not, we would give it a shot. Uh, and, uh, you know, we could, you know, put that product up, uh, you know, the review up and stuff like that. And then it was like, didn't hear anything back. And then they were like, Oh, you know what? We're going to have this be our featured flavor for another month. So yeah, that sounds great. We'll send it out to you. All this kind of stuff. And it's like, cool. All right. That's, that sounds neat. We'll be able to check out your shipping. And they were going to send us like, you know, a thing that we were going to be able to give like coupons out to you. Like it was a whole thing about it. We're like, yeah. all right, this sounds neat. Let's check it out. And we were, you know, as with everything we've had, we were very honest, whether we like it or not. Um, you know, we give it, no, we damn, give it, it again. <laughs> no, we, we would be honestly, like, you know, if it was to something that was interesting. Uh, so then fast forward, like they shipped it out. It was supposed to be here one day and then through issues out of their control, although their big thing that they're pushing is like, Hey, we can get you these products and we can ship them to you. FedEx didn't deliver on the day they said they were going to deliver. So then it was like delayed basically like 18 hours. So the dry ice, uh, ran out. So the mm -hmm. ice cream that was in there was pretty much like a third melted, uh, when it got to me and like I said, some other stuff in there had deteriorated like a little bit. But the other two thirds wasn't melted, but it wasn't. Oh. I did put them in the freezer. Uh, and I, you know, I, you know, like I said, they sent us a couple different kinds of cookies, which I tried and the, the cookies were okay. They were not like amazing. Oh, yeah. Um, and the stuff was very expensive. Like it was a premium thing is in, in my head when I saw this coming and looked at their website, saw the prices, I thought, I thought, well, this, if this actually is delicious and amazing, this would be a very neat thing to order for someone for people that like, you know, not have everything, but you are hard to buy for or whatever, right. really, you know, like a gift or something. Yeah, where you're like, oh, here's a, you know, because the neat thing to be able to do for someone, kind of like when you buy like booze and, and different things, or, you know, or there's, you know, have spirits of any kind, is like you're giving an experience. Right. So it's kind of that thing, like, I can't, you know, like, I, I, I'm not going to buy you another, oh, here's that new CD you wanted. Like, you want to give someone, like, when you get older, sometimes you're like, I want to give you this experience or this thing. Like, oh, here's right. two tickets to do this thing. So it's kind of like that. I thought, okay, even if it's a premium, that'd be neat to be like, hey, you can't get this anywhere else enjoy this, a special little dessert. And it's like, that's kind of the neat thing to get. Unfortunately, like I said, all of that, like, you know, kind of literally fell apart. And again, I did, I ate some of the ice cream cause I wanted to try it the next day, but I don't know how much of it, you know, probably right. from being, finally ill for two days. Yeah, nothing like that, thankfully, no. but uh, it was, it was very just okay, but it might have also been uh, ruined by the, uh, yeah, um, you weren't, you weren't trying it at its, at its best. I was not trying sure. it at its best. Yeah. I reached back out to the Berserker. Good to see you. I reached back out to them. I told them what had happened. I said, Hey, it showed up. I said, this is not your fault. I said, but FedEx, I said, I know you're kind of promoting your shipping stuff. I said, but FedEx, we were here all day because it was literally going to be delivered on a Friday. I do barely leave this house. <laughs> so I was here. They never delivered. They never stopped by. So they didn't come out till the next day. So then it was, it was late. I said here it was melted. I said, I kind of don't feel I should talk about this because I'm not going right. to put you in a good light. I don't think that's fair to you. And and I said, I also, since they had paid for like second day or whatever, and it did not arrive in second day, they should get the money being in shipping. I told them that right. I, I said, you should file a claim on this. If you need me to send you other information, you know, let me know. 
um, and they were like, oh, thank you so much. Like, yeah, we'll, you know, we'll be happy to, we should file a claim. That's right. It should have been there. We'll send you out another amount. Never heard from them again. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like, okay, well, I'm not going to, you know, but it was, right. it was kind of a strange situation. Like it was very much like, I have a feeling it's a very small operation. Right. They were a small company. They were trying to get, you know, probably this new service going. So they're very busy. So yeah, e emails would take, you know, multiple days to kind of get answered. And even, you know, and a few times I was like, oh, we're not going to hear, oh, they were hearing back from them again. Like it was kind of one of those situations. So yeah, um, yeah, that's been one of the, a weird ones of uh, people trying to send us stuff. But like I said, we've had a few other people reach out to us. So we'll see if we have anything else that we're trying uh, uh, as people send us some stuff. So we'll see. But, uh, but yeah, so All we right. go grab some tequila. That's right. Let's, uh, let's enter tequila country. Let's enter tequila country uh, with our tour guide, Dwayne, the rock Johnson. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's send our we, Harris Heller soundtrack, our Harris Heller soundtrack. Uh, let's, uh, let's just scroll down the list further. We'll go to here and, uh, yeah, we'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. Be See right you in back. a minute. Well, I hope you're ready because we are back. We're back with a new track. It's not fiction. It is fact right here. Here we are. Here we are again. This tequila is gluten free. Of course, so I it was 96 calories for an ounce and a half. I think most tequilas are. Oh, really? It even has a little uh, nutritional information. Actually, it is on the back here too, but I saw that on the website. Zero carbs, zero sugar, gluten free, uh, copper uh, pot still. I learned a agave little, free. Oh wait, no. it's agave free. Oh God, wouldn't that be the That's worst not good. tequila That's ever? Not good for tequila. It's agave free. <laughs> HJ, oh, how wow, are you? HJ. How are you this fine evening? HNJ. Who knows? Just it doesn't J? matter. We Just H. I bet it's this Our H. representative is here. A representative of the House of, of HJ. H. Is this Game of Thrones all of a sudden? And the dog. A representative of House HJ has arrived. Does that sound like Game of Thrones? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Oh, you... Keith I likes to play it no off idea. like that he hasn't watched Breaking Bad. He hasn't watched Game of Thrones. He hasn't watched... He well, likes I've never to play watched all Game of, of, He loves Game all of, of those things. Loves them all. <gasps> just, just J? Oh, just J. Okay. So they, they only can do one at a time. Just J. They just roll. Just check. Just check. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, we've we've enjoyed some things tonight already. We have actually. I like the Stone Brewing. I thought it was good. Uh, it was a little. <laughs> not that the price was super expensive for some reason. For you that thought it style been of beer, yeah. I thought it should have been a dollar or two less. But it's yeah. good. Gotta keep you guys off balance. <laughs> yeah, we're into the hard stuff this evening, so I don't know if you need to keep us too much off balance. Uh, and then uh, we just had the 2018 Red Blend from Empathy Wines, and that was by far. The best of the three, I would agree. Yeah, that was very, especially as it as it came more to room temperature. It was very good, very good, definitely. Yep, I definitely recommend. It that. was liked so much. Keith actually said, if I bought another three, he would buy one of them from. I think me. I would. Yeah, that's how much he liked it. That's uh, things and stuff you say. Things we say. Oh, that was that was actually what came up today when I was at Total Wine and was talking with uh, Scott a little bit too because he was asking. He said, he said, "How's Keith?" He's like, "How's your family's doing? Whatever you know." So we were still doing both doing good. And I said, yeah, I said, you know, so we've got our, you know, second shots under our belt. I said, you know, getting close. And he said he had just gotten his like, I think a week or like almost the same time. So he had just gotten his as well. Uh, and he said, yeah, for the first time in like a year, he actually went out and actually ate somewhere with uh, he had a couple friends in town and they actually went to Fourth Avenue. And they, he said it wasn't too crowded, which was nice. And, nice. Uh, you know, he said it was kind of weird finally dipping back out into that yeah. and, and doing that. But you got your shots under your belt. I know. Wow. I know. Right, yeah. in, right in his urethra, which I thought was you very have to pay strange. extra for that? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I got mine in my arm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get your shot, and then you also get a ticket for indecent yeah. exposure, like right back to back. What are you going to give you your shots under your belt? Oh, oh my. <laughs> it wasn't oh. below the belt. Oh, golly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you get a shot like that, it's kind of serious. It's kind of serious. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's a deep cheers reference that no one's going to know but the two of us. Um, um, but yeah, it was, uh, it was nice uh, hanging out and chatting with him for a little bit, but I asked him to, because I can't remember where he said he went to. I did ask him, and then I just, I said, oh, I said, have you been to Hermanos? So he's like, oh, I said, Hermanos is probably one of my favorite burgers in town. So we started talking about that. I said, yeah, I said, I saw they're open again. Like, I kind of already have, like, starting to, like, check off, like, places I wouldn't mind going to yeah. eat again. Hermanos, Fleming's, uh, other places. But uh, you still got, still got to be safe out there. It's not like, although I thought about just ripping off my mask. Yeah. <laughs> Pretending to be an anti-masker for, like, a day. Don't do that. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, no. If you do, do that by yourself. <laughs> I could do this alone. Pretend. Yeah. Just pretend. On camera, maybe. You can even do it. I could. We're anti-masking right we now. Are. We are. We are anti-masking. No, we are very pro-mask. Like, do not get right that. here. Yeah. I don't want anyone to take these clips out of context. All of a sudden, people are going to start putting yes. up the uh, Oh, that's true. Just take that little part. That little clip. Yeah. They're like, no. I'm not being anti-mask. No. Yeah. Not. Not at all. No. No, not when I still have to tell several people every day to please pull your mask up over your nose while you're in our store. Thank you. So. Can you just get Trader Joe's shirts that are made that say that on there? Please wear you. Yeah. We have a big A-frame sign that one of our artists did that shows you the right way and the wrong way to wear your mask. And most <laughs> Too of late! The, most yeah. of the people who like it are the people who or who notice it are people who like it. And, and have the mask on. That's a great sign. They have their masks on already. I haven't had anybody go, oh, thank you for reminding me. Yeah. No, it's like, I have to remind them. The sign doesn't remind <laughs> it's them. It's already so. on Facebook. Well, damn it. It's already Fortunately, propag- we're not. Already pro- oh, yeah, it's already are, propagating but, on Facebook. Yeah. That'd be funny to actually, because it's like one of those A-frame signs. Like, you could just wear it. There's nothing yeah, under right, it. Right, sandwich board, yeah. <laughs> it's sort of like a sandwich board. Right. I have on my mask, but nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm wearing my mask. <laughs> Sorry, phone is being poopy in the back now. Well, thank you for coming back. I appreciate it. We have uh, gone through a few poopy. Not just poopy. Not just it's a, poopy it's a, but you have one of those French iPhones, don't uh, you? Is that an poopy. Android? Is that how Androids talk? I'm not familiar with Android. Le um, but yeah, we've gone through a couple beverages tonight. We definitely enjoyed, like I said, the beer for, like was good for what it was. And yep. uh, the red blend uh, from Empathy was delicious. Uh, for sure, and uh, would one that we would definitely get again. Um, but yeah, we're going to record another podcast now. We're actually going to do a tequila, which we have not done tequila in a little while. Tequila. We've got a mezcal coming up in a couple in a week or two. Wow. Uh, we may have. We've got a bourbon that I purchased uh, today. Might come up in a couple weeks. It it has surrendered on multiple occasions. Oh wow! It's just it's just given up. Just can't take it anymore. Uh, but yeah, in the future we've got a we've got a gin too. Like we already have like the next three weeks for the content. It's planned. We got it. Yes, it's all planned. What's the price range of that empathy? So the empathy you have to buy, uh, you have to order from their uh, website, empathywines.com. Um, and it is, uh, you can only get them in three packs. So it's three bottles of wine for 60 bucks. They have a collection that has the rosé, the rosé, the white and the red, which is what we tried. We tried all three of those. Uh, the rosé podcast is up today. We did the white last week, uh, and the red will probably be up next week or whatever. And then, or no, two weeks from now, I'm sorry. The white doesn't go up till next week. And then a couple weeks we'll have the red. Um, and so we tried all three of those, but you can't, that is Gary V's wine. That is correct. Uh, at least, uh, well, well, we found out as Keith looked up, so he owned the, I guess he sold it like two years ago, last year, last year. So he sold it last year, but he still like, seems like he has, you know, goes in there and consults uh, and things like that. But yeah, that is the one he started with two other people. Um, oh, well, since you're here and that we got that today. It only took multiple times of putting things up to find the Gary V like the photo, so we'll take it. That's some heavy clout right there. Um, but uh, but yeah, so that was uh, that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, you can you can either order the collection where it's got a bottle of each. We made it. I know. Uh, you, you can buy. Like I said, you can check out the collection uh, and get hello. one of each. Or hello. Debo, hello to you too. Hello. Uh, you can order each of those varietals <laughs> as like a three pack, so you can get three reds or three rosés or the three whites. The white was our least favorite. It was fine, but yeah. at that price, like I think there's a lot of other things that, in my opinion, are, right. are better. Uh, right. The rosé I thought was very unique and different. I know there's a lot of rosés out there. In fact, that you probably even like similarly, yeah. but I thought it was unique enough where I could definitely justify that. And uh, then the red, of course, was was very delicious. That, that's definitely. I think that was my favorite as well. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. They were those were both very good. And would order that one again. Like I could easily order a three pack of that red. Can we put that Gary V thing on a shirt? <laughs> we could. <laughs> we could. There's no reason why we couldn't. <laughs> That's, that's oh my god that's a genius idea <laughs> gary v liked your photo oh my god that's so good got any chilled whites right here <laughs> we're a couple of chilled whites <laughs> chilled whites right here debo debo oh the temperature's rising just a little bit in the tasting room here it it's is okay. i right. put the i even put the ac a degree lower i'm trying to it's keep okay. it as cool no, as possible it's a, it's a challenge we got all these all these <laughs> lights here <laughs> would anyone Dang it. He saw the joke. I did. I saw it. Would anyone buy a shirt if it says Gary V like this photo and, and what I just literally put up on screen? Would someone buy that? Because I will make that. Will someone? I think that would be really fucking funny. <laughs> oh, my God. That would be cool be... If, could, if, they, if they're gotten to the point where you can put it on the back. Yeah. 
if the little photo is high res, yes, I think I can get, I'll have to see, I'll have to see, because uh, definitely when I make the t-shirts, it, like it, it requires a certain level of DPI, I'll have to make sure that it gets uh, up there, but I think, <laughs> I think if I literally just put that up, that'd be hysterical. Oh my God. Would we still put our logo on, or would that literally be all it is? Would that literally be it? No, we'd have to still have a logo on there, I think. Don't you? I wish we could put logos on the back. Oh, no. They still don't have that yet. Put the, yeah, yeah, somehow. Would you just put the like the logo like down here, like just really small, like put it in between, or would you put it? Why well, you got underneath? the thing that's got our logo on it, right? It kind of is right here. Right, that's what I'm saying. I guess if it's that, I don't know if, but I don't know how big that would be. Yeah, like on okay. a shirt, like it'd probably be still pretty <laughs> small. Put the logo on the sleeve or the bottom of the T. You could go, I could go more bottom. The the company we're currently using, it's like through Stream Elements. I place your logo here. That also Oh, yeah. A, no, he said where it says eight hours. We can put the logo there. Oh, that's true. That's not a bad yeah, idea. That's not yeah. bad. <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad idea. We could totally do that. We we have, even now put, do I have to check with Gary V? I mean, he endorsed the photo, so he has to endorse the shirt. <laughs> Let's hope <laughs> that would be pretty funny, man. That is a, that is a really good idea. <laughs> Glad I was here for the germination of that. Oh man. But yeah, we are going to do a uh, podcast right now. So since we're doing a podcast that will go up on YouTube for sure, like this entire show, we now put up on YouTube the following Tuesday archive format. You get everything. If you want to see all the behind the scenes things, all the, lol Gary Fee is like this shirt. Oh my God. That would be the next level of it. If we could, if we would sell the shirt and then we'd put the shirt up on, on, uh, on, on just Instagram and then to say that, yeah, either try and send him a shirt or yeah. Or then actually just put that up there and then see if we could get him to like that. And then also be another sh sh picture of him liking the shirt like that the shirt. says, he's an entrepreneur. If there's money in it for him, I think he would like that. Yeah. Then you can make a shirt of Gary Vee liking your picture of your shirt of him liking your picture. Exactly. <laughs> it's one of the, what is that? Recursion. Gary-ception. It's inception. Gary <laughs> or it's a recursion, right? Because remember, that's what the, we looked up the word recursion because that was the IPA we had. It was something that <clears throat> needs itself to show it and it keeps repeating. Oh, so yeah. I think, we, I think we're also tying in a beer there, too. So. Oh, my God. But yeah, cool. gary <laughs> I love all of that. V-ception. V-ception. <laughs> oh. But that's uh, but that's good. But anyway, okay. so we're gonna do a podcast. Uh, we got a tequila. We're gonna try, which we haven't done in a little bit. Moon brained it. Wow, that's that sounds painful, actually. Um, do I want some info here? <laughs> not not by it's crafted in a small Mexican town, not by a small. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um, brick oven roasted. Big brain play. Those are huge big brain plays right there. Keith, with the big ideas. I like it. I already have another shirt idea and then we've got that like we could release two at the same time i like this like so we'll have to add those in the store but anyway oh as i was saying so we use stream elements as our store because it integrates with everything else that we do um uh, i have thought about looking at some other stores to see if there's some other options of things that work you know maybe even a little faster or whatever because stream elements has been good i think the quality has been pretty solid so far like i've definitely have several that have been through multiple washes and i think they've have been, have come out okay I'm wearing right now um there you go there's one right now i love this color too this dark navy is is really nice actually um refreshing but, uh, substance but yeah they uh they don't have it yet but they the uh right there the uh i would love to be able to just put the logo on the back like have something yeah. on the front and just put a logo on yeah. the back <laughs> just realize you're wearing a tombstone shirt 100 out of 10 i'm here huckleberry yeah it's the wait can i hold on there we go forgive me if i don't shake hands <laughs> Hence the pandemic still going on. I bought this at the beginning of the pandemic. So I've had this shirt probably about a year. Okay. <laughs> at least that's, eight or nine months. That, yeah. uh, that adds up. That at, the math, math adds up. Math checks out. Uh, but yeah, that would be kind of neat. Copper stills. Boo, boo, boo. That was it. Brick oven roasted. Brick oven roasted. Copper still. Those copper stills look really cool. You got to yeah. definitely check out the website. We'll have the link down below uh, when this podcast goes up. Uh, with everything else, but yeah, definitely look for, or you can actually right now, if you just do the beverage command, click on that, you can look at the uh, Terramana information there. Small batch tequila. We're trying the Blanco. They have a Reposado, which also sounds good. What a pandemic purchase. Phenomenal. Debo, thank you for the lurk. Appreciated. Thank you so much. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Are you feeling it? I'll hit the record. Oh, I don't need to hit the record button. <clears> hit the record recording. button. We're don't already doing it. <clears throat> okay. We're already doing it. So if I were to ask you, 
where your greater knowledge is between wrestling or tequila? I know it might be close, but what, what would you say? It would absolutely be wrestling. No, okay, that no, is not wait, the, no, that's not the answer I no, thought he would that's say. Not the, that's not the correct answer. Either. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's the incorrect answer. Uh, tequila, uh, about 100 to 2 Zero percent. <laughs> Zero. I would, uh, I would, I would be in the exact same boat as well. But I uh, am a fan of. It seems like there is a lot of celebrities, stars that are getting into the craft game. Uh, some more successfully than others. Like we've uh, at some point we have tried Ryan Reynolds. He had his Aviator Gin. Right. Uh, we did try that one. I don't know if that was in a podcast format. If it made it to the podcast yeah, I don't or know not. If we did, or if we just tasted it. Uh, which that one was okay. Right. Uh, I think Ryan Reynolds is a cool guy, but uh, like I said, his uh, gin for my palate was not exactly what I was looking for right uh but we've tried some other ones we will be trying a mezcal in a few weeks from uh, aaron paul and brian cranston so we're, we're getting into that celebrity uh vintage uh, spirit game right and we're going to be fully into that for this give it a shot i'm andrew and i'm keith and we are about beverages.com and the beverage that we're about today is the terramana small batch tequila uh, and the celebrity that we were speaking of, uh, and the wrestling question tie in, uh, is because this is, um, at least owned or partially owned by, uh, Dwayne, the rock Johnson. That is correct. Mm-hmm. Uh, not only, well, especially now I think he's probably a little bit of exited the wrestling game. Now he's just mega superstar, just everything, right. movies, TV, uh, endorsements, all, all right. these kinds of things. But he seems like a gen- he actually seems like a genuine guy. Like I, I think I, I, I agree from what I have seen, uh, I like him and, uh, his website, which we'll have a link to, uh, down below here, or if you're at the website about beverages.com, you can check out the links there, uh, to, uh, his Terramana small batch tequila. They have two kinds. They have a Blanco and a Reposado. We've got the Blanco. We're going Blanco. We are going Blanco. Yes. Um, it is, uh, like you said, small batch. It's a uh, copper uh, pot stills, uh, brick oven roasted. This is a new term. I don't like said uh, again. My tequila knowledge l- under my bourbon, whiskey, and gin knowledge. So it's right. down there a little bit, but I still do love tequila. Yeah. Uh, so this is kind of a uh, new to me. Um, they 90- take the. I think from the the, the from the um, agave plant, they take the hearts, or the, I think they're called pe- the pina, mm-hmm. and they take that and they roast that. Uh, with mezcal, it's done in underground pits, so that's why it's a little smokier. But um, oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, but uh, so so this they actually roast. It says for three days they shred the agave to extract the juices for fermentation. Okay, and then uh, being that it is uh, the blanco, there is no aging in this one. If you're looking for the reposado, that one is done in like I think in whiskey or bourbon barrels, which is kind of interesting. Sounds cool. Uh, I'm looking for it quick. I'm stalling. Former Finding bourbon barrels. Former former bourbon barrels. So, but this one uh, not so much. Yeah. <laughs> this one's slightly less than. So at least we won't have to really talk about color when we uh, go to the. No, <laughs> the, that'll eliminate some uh, precious seconds. And the podcast uh, pricing on this, uh, we have it. Oh, I work for Trader Joe's, so we had it for uh, twenty nine bucks. Okay, and, and that's about what I've seen it for, right around I think thirty dollars. Line was like thirty, yeah. But uh, so yeah, twenty eight, twenty eight ninety nine. Mm. Ninety six calories per ounce and a half. If that's a lot of in nutritional information. How I much guess? gluten's in here? There's a no gluten. In here. No gluten. Zero gluten free. Gluten, zero let's sugars. Go. Zero sugars. Zero sugars. You say, and, but some alcohol. So, yeah, surprisingly, there's some alcohol in here. I think this actually has a little more proof. I think it's 90 proof. Nope, it's 80 proof. Never mind. I don't know why I thought this one was 40%. Higher. 40%. Your okay. usual 40%. <laughs> Weber Blue Agave as well. Of course. I always forget that <laughs> sometimes spirits can, can get you. Yeah, they can hit you a little bit. They can. Love me some smoky whiskeys. Johnny Walker Black Label is one of my faves. Ooh, nice. I don't think I have... I have had a Johnny Walker here and there, but not in a very, very long time. Don Berger bought me a bottle of Johnny Walker Black. Like in the 90s somewhere. And And you still have it. I had it for a very long time. (laughs) I did have it for a very long time. I I think I got rid of it when we moved. So... Like six years ago. Don't tell Joe that. (laughs) I love that I was lurking for a bit and come back to you guys just smelling drinks instead of drinking. (laughs) You've got to experience the whole thing. See, that's the The whole thing. People like you smell like the smell is like, like what? 80%, 70% they say of everything. Like all of your sensory taste. Yeah. Directly connected to taste and your brain, everything. You have to smell a tequila. You have to smell everything. Yeah. 
like food. Like I get, I think it's crazy too. Like it may look silly, but now when I get plates of, I actually like food. I mean, not a McDonald's, not something like that or a Burger King. But when I go out to a decent rent, like they put the down bun. the, they put down the food, like people just start digging. It's like, yeah. no, like there's some good aroma and yeah, steam. Get, maybe get all, like you paid maybe. for that. Yeah. Smell it. Yeah. Enjoy it. That's why you should only buy whole bean coffee as well. Let's tie into that. Of course. So you can smell it as it grinds. Yeah. Smell platter of chicken nugget. Yes. See, I knew you someone was going to say that. That's why I had to be specific. <laughs> it's not the nugget so much as the dipping sauce that you smell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. Dip, oh, notes of barbecue, honey mustard. <laughs> barbecue. <laughs> oh, the honey mustard. This is a good year for honey oh, mustard. Oh, the ranch dressing. Oh, the ranch. Mm. Really, they really brought out something this time. <laughs> give give my compliment to the chef. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Okay. There's a surprising amount of aroma going on there. There is actually, you know, I, so to, just to prep a little bit, I did have uh, some Reposado tequila, which I know this is not a Reposado, but I had a little bit before we podcast, before you came over. Okay. Um, Cause I always need to get a little bit loose before the show. <laughs> uh, no, but I wanted to have a little bit. Cause I know we've talked about sometimes when we have these spirits, like sometimes our palate's not ready or right. like, and for me, I don't have tequila as often. So I kind of wanted to get myself familiar with even it's not a super expensive bottle, like I said, but I was like, I just want to want to kind of have those notes. And this even brings more to the table than the Reposado I think I just had. There's okay. some definitely some citrus coming through. Uh, there's just some of those just nice. There's a tequila aroma. Like you could hand right. me a tequila in a mixture of a hundred different, and I would know which one is tequila. Like there's just a smell to that. It's, well, it's that kind of, it's that vegetal because it is a plant. It's right. It's that that's kind of specific to that. And it does have that in it. Uh, there's a, I get a little white pepper and I get, there's some fruit in there. Mm -hmm. so definitely some fruit. It's, it's very it's a well-rounded aroma, which is not a term I use too often, but it, it really just kind of like gets you and no, uh, it's, it's good. Yeah. No, I, yeah, exactly. Like I said, very well-rounded. That's a good way to put it. Very well-rounded aroma, the citrus. Yeah. A little pepper. And it's just that general, there's that tequila and sweet and vegetal. Like you said, yeah, yeah. It, it smells really good. Though. Yeah, it does. I very, agree. very happy about this. All right. <laughs> Let's hope that transfers <laughs> to the taste. But again, even if we don't like it, I'm not telling the rock. No, oh no! I'm, not, I'm keeping we it a loved secret. It. Keeping it a secret. You'll only know our true feelings in subtitles down at the bottom, because <laughs> he doesn't read. No, I'm. I'm kidding. Of course, <laughs> what he does reads. that mean? You're, now you've made him mad. <laughs> now I've made him upset. He's coming for me. <laughs> it's not like Jerry Seinfeld all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Clipping and tweeting, you son of a bitch. <laughs> They say the aroma is 100% of the flavor, 60% of the time. <laughs> oh, yes. I can imagine it's he's pimping. pimping nuggets. Hey, nuggets is one of my best friends. Oh, chicken nuggets. I thought they meant my friend nuggets. You smell it, my nuggets. You smell it, my nuggets. It tastes like a peanut. <laughs> it's like a peanut. <laughs> Don't make me run. I'm all full of chocolate. <laughs> I smell a hint of chicken and a hint of nugget. Good stuff. Good stuff here. Clipping and tweeting. Because Dwayne doesn't read. <laughs> Actually, he does. That guy's probably more well read than I am for sure. <laughs> like 100%. I saw a clip of him taking like a big swig of this too. Like, I can't. Like, people really? that do that, like, I just can't. I like, just got the bottle and just. Yeah, just one okay. of those. He was out like working the fields. <laughs> he, like, oh, took wow. a big swig. <laughs> I was like, wow. nothing refreshes me like a big swig of <laughs> Terramana tequila. Nothing refreshes me like some 80 proof spirit. And rehydrates me. <laughs> God. In a port. <laughs> Just make sure if you clip and tweet that, then you clip and tweet if we actually like it, then do. Like add it to the tweet. <laughs> Do not clip and tweet. Don't do it. Yeah, don't drink and drive. Don't clip and tweet. Don't clip and tweet. Don't do it. Slow down, your neighbors. <clears throat> okay. Friends slow down. They even stop. They even stop. God, that's such a good thing. <laughs> that's one of the best lines. It's, it's a visual and then the words. And because the, he just gets there, he's delivery. like, hey, how's it going? Yeah. Like he just tries <laughs> to Jason play Jason like, is, yeah. Oh, how's this with some friends? Yeah. Friends, friends slow, slow down. down. They even they, stop. They even stop. <laughs> uh, he's, he's passed away, isn't he? Has to have. Yeah. Has to because I murdered him. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Oh no. All right, you ready? I am. Yeah. 
Yeah. You feeling it? I am. Okay. I like it. That really holds up. That is delicious. It's got a good. And I'm not just saying that because I don't want the rock to kick my ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. I had and I had heard from a few people that that this was a good one. Um, I, I like the body. That's the first thing that kind of hits mm-hmm. me. Is it kind of coats your tongue, and then there's just there's some nice spice to it. There is the nice agave coming through, um, a little bit of fruit, and it's just yeah, that's a that's a nice sipper actually. I, that, I I, I like Blancos and margaritas, but it would almost be a shame to hide that in there. But it would work great in a margarita. I was just thinking that, too. But but it's really just a, a great little sipper. That price point, it's not too bad either. Like I said, right around $30. Like, that's kind of the borderline right. for me of, like, where I feel like, should I put this in a mixer? Will it still be, like, will that bring anything to the mixer where it's worthy then of going into there? Right. And I'm surprised, especially for a Blanco. Like, yeah, I agree. I would totally sip this. This is actually very good. It's very smooth. The body is better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. And, yeah, there's some nice notes of, like, the citrus comes out. And, like, again, I know I'm just using the, ge- the generic te- tequila, the vegetal, like, that right. comes, comes out. There's That's, a little rounded sweetness in there and the citrus. Yeah. That is actually really good. Now yeah. I really want to try the Reposado. Like... That with some barrel aging of some sort. Oh my God. Like if you added some vanilla to that or some like a little bit of oaking or spice. Wow. That, and this, I think if I was going to use this to make a margarita, I would almost dial back the, the, the other parts of the margarita. You'd just probably to go feature this a little you'd bit. You'd probably more. go toward the ultimate, which we like where it's two parts of this one part lime juice. Right. And then maybe even cut the agave nectar in half. Yeah, like to just because yeah, this, this already a has a little sweet in it, just yeah. to really make sure this comes out. Yeah, I'd want to. Fe- I'd want to feature that more. Yeah, I wish I. I don't think I have the full components, but man, that would be, that would be interesting. I may have to do that. Maybe that'll be something to come up on TikTok. I just make a little quick video of that or something. Who knows? A tease. A quick a margarita. A video. Quick, quick margarita moment. Margarita moment. A margarita moment. Yeah, that is uh, excellent, and hopefully. What you also find is excellent is our website, BobBeverages.com, uh, where you can find all of the podcasts we have done over the last, uh, God, more than a decade. I kind of don't even want to say any other years because then it just gets kind of sad. We're like, it's almost 13 years now or whatever it is. Something insane. What is it? You know the years, don't you? 2000, what was it? 2008, right? I think so. So Eight 13 nine, years. Yeah. coming up on thir- yeah. Over 13 years now we have uh, done all the things and stuff. Uh, so you can find everything there. If you only want the latest videos, please subscribe on YouTube. We would appreciate that. You can get even a little reminder if you subscribe when new content comes available, which is now a couple times a week. This entire podcast uh, and live show that we do on Thursday nights is uh, always there. If you only want audio, that's totally good. You're out and about. You're moving around. You got things to do. Don't want to waste your bandwidth on some video. I get it. Google Podcasts, iTunes, Spotify, anywhere you like listening to podcasts, just search for About Beverages. We will be there. We will. <clears throat> as well as on the three uh, pillars the of three, social media. The three current pillars. Current The current pillars. That's, That's right. right. It's a little bit of a teaser there, but uh, at least the current pillars are uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, Twitter being the one that we are most active on, letting you know uh, what we're doing, what's going on at About Beverages. Like uh, earlier tonight when I went live or went and let everybody know that we were about to go live on twitch.tv slash About Beverages. Uh, that's when we record, uh, most Thursday nights we record live starting around five thirty Pacific. Uh, we get together, hang out with our audience and just chat about, oh, beverages. And Get oh, other things too, sports, music, whatever happens to come up. Uh, also throughout the week, Andrew's going to let you know what he's doing uh, in the world of gaming, who he might be doing it with and what he will be drinking while it's happening. Right. Uh, but follow us on Twitter uh, for the latest on what's going on about beverages. But as we always say, whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. And that is a podcast. Zaku. Good to see you, sir. I know you've been lurking the whole time. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Bad girl's got her knife out. I know. Got her machete. Or something. I'm threatening you. <laughs> Are you threatening me? <laughs> I am Cornolio. I'm, I'll be very curious to try, if, if we do try the Trader Joe's Blanco, or I guess another one, but I, I'd kind of just, be, that was really good. That is, that was really good. Again, you're going to chat about beverages. Hey, that's the name of the channel. <laughs> what? I'm going to be honest. I don't have a lot of tequilas. 
My wife definitely much more the tequila drinker. We'll have to see what Litha of, thinks of, of all that. Kind of, yeah, so I'm interesting to see what she thinks of that. Um, because it, but for me, the Blancos that I have had that I usually, yeah, and I do like to, I do try them before I wind up going to a margarita, which is my go-to or, you know, some sort of like the, when we did the mezcal, like, so we had the Paloma and things like that. Um, or I actually have, have you ever had, we did, did we actually do a podcast on the Bloody Maria or have we just talked about that? I can't remember. Or you do a Bloody Mary and you switch out yeah. the vodka, you put in tequila. That's actually quite delicious. I love a tequila, tequila. So for a Blanco is good. I usually avoid them. So same. Like I usually go Reposado or like I look for like an Añejo or something because like, I kind of want the barrel aging. I'm thinking of it more as usually as a sipper. Uh, and I think the Reposado especially usually adds a little bit more to a margarita, adds a little bit more depth of flavor. I think it's worth it because it's usually not that much more expensive. This is honestly... Again, from my small sampling size, I'm sorry I have to keep prefacing this because I know there's other people out there that are right. differently. This is the best Blanco tequila I've ever had. It brings way more flavor to the party. The only one I can think of that is close, but I'd have to try it again, or maybe it was a little better, is like I've had a Don Julio Blanco at some point uh, that, uh, like I said, that our brother's brother-in-law has brought over. Like, I don't know whether, I don't know how family tie-ins were right. anyway. Right. That is brought over, and I know I've had a sip of that and thought it was very good. So I would have to have these side by side, but especially at this price, it was excellent. Uh, like the George uh, Clooney tequila, I don't like in Blanco. So I just saw that one. It's funny. I saw that at Total Wine today and I almost bought it. How much? Uh, so we sell that at Trader Joe's. How much was it? Do you remember? Don't. That one's like, we sell it for 43. I want to say it was in that area. Okay. I, so, I want to say it was 40-ish. I think when we initially got it in, it wasn't that expensive, but that price has gone up. I don't know if he owns that one anymore, but um, yeah, I haven't heard a oh, lot. Oh, you know of, what? Does he do a mezcal too? Because I was actually, so next to the gin now at Total Wine is the mezcals. Oh, that was how I even okay. remembered to get the, I, like I said, I bought a bottle of the mezcal, which we'll try at some point. It's the Aaron Paul, Brian Cranston. I think those hombres, those what is it called? I think that's what you said. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Anyway, we'll try that at some point. That one better be delicious. <laughs> do you know? Do you have that one? No, we only carry two. Okay. Right now, guess how much that one is? Well, you said better be delicious. The one we had was <laughs> twenty-one uh, forty-five. Is the one we had was twenty-one? The yeah, the uh, pequeña, a spot of pequeña or whatever. Spot of pe okay. Was that, okay, so that one was, was 21. twenty-one. Yeah. And what's the other one you have? How much is that one? Twenty-eight. Okay. So what was your guess? 45. Got to go a little more north than that. Wow. Okay. It was like 62. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. It was not cheap. It was the last bottle they had, or I probably would not have grabbed it. Okay. A little bit of a dumb impulse purchase. I know we'd been talking about it and I was kind of like, oh, I want to try that. I was like, eh, I don't know if I, because I was buying some other gins and things like that. And I was like, eh, I don't know if I want to buy that. And then I looked and it was the, not that they won't get more in, but I was like, ah, they don't have any more. I'm like, we keep talking about it. I'm like, it seems like some of these things do fairly well on YouTube uh, when we have done them. So I was like, all right, I'll get it about beverages reimbursing for this one. <laughs> like I'll get this one on about beverages tab. Oh yeah. Um, no, that's good. You should do that. So I thought that one would be a good one to do it for. Cause we keep talking about They're it. Like, but yeah. Uh, aisle eight. Someone just bought that one bottle of Casamigos. Put the next one. In. <laughs> put one more out. Exactly. <laughs> put one more out. <laughs> that would be the move to do. Right. Um, but yeah, I have not had the George Clooney tequila. Like I know, uh, didn't, uh, Justin Timberlake has a tequila as well. Oh, that I don't know. Because we know, talked I know about Sammy Hagar has a whole bunch of them. I've had the couple. I've had a couple different couple. Have we ever done one of those? <sighs> you know, I'm, I'm going to check the archives right now. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, yes. Well, hello, Gala. How are you? Um, hello. I know I have had m at least a couple bottles of the Cabo Wabo. I don't know if we podcast. I want to say doesn't look no, like. I it. guess not. Look up under Wabo. No. No Cabo, no Wabo. We have neither Caboed nor Waboed. On Justin our, Timberlake on is launching his own line of tequila. See, look at that. I even did oh, an article. Well, that was a well, year. Wow, that was a long time ago. 2009, we wrote about this. Wow. I never thought I would type this next sentence for a lifetime, but here goes. Sammy Hagar and Justin Timberlake have something in common. <laughs> they both love tequila so much they decided to create their own line. Justin's will be named after his Memphis area code. Click the link below to learn more. I'm going to click the link. Let's see if this link is still good. <laughs> good, good. Finished my Nando shift. I thought I'd pop in. Well, thank you for popping in. I appreciate it. Well, that doesn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. oh, the okay. article isn't there anymore. Yeah, we're just wrapping up a wonderful night of a lot of uh, different oh, beverages. No, there, this is what but... we've all had. We just finished up the tequila, but we had uh, Stone Brewing their Belgian white. We had the Empathy Wine Red Blend. 
Yeah, because I think we even talked about it one time, and you said Justin Timberlake is bringing sexy tequila back or something <laughs> like that. You had some, you had some reference. Yeah, we probably did. That seems like, like that. something that Keith would yes. say, right? Uh, they, but the yeah. production was stalled. They had an equipment malfunction. Wow. Oh, no, poor, okay. poor Justin Timberlake. Oh, poor poor his wife, I guess. Wardrobe. No, I saw my Oh, you're going, going for, tying into the wardrobe. Going for the Super Bowl yeah, malfunction. Yeah, oh, I was trying to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Is someone drawing those or are they generated? Which ones? What are we talking about? These? This? What? That? This? That? I don't know. You gotta be specific. Uh, but yeah, that was, uh, that was interesting. Hello. 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 So you're thinking no show next week then? The chalky beverages above your heads. Oh, actually, we had someone uh, draw us. Our uh, very talented niece and nephew in law yes. uh, took care of those for us. They were very, they actually kind of, we had multiple different concepts and they kind of started pointing us in this direction and we. Yeah, really went for it. And we, it. we really loved and I it. I think so there's some behind we, us too, right? There are. Yeah. If, uh, yep. See, there's a wine glass over there. I think I have a champagne. There's a champagne <laughs> flute behind me. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So no show next week. Is this what you're no telling me? No show. Yeah. Probably. I mean, unless maybe we do something Wednesday, but I'm not sure. So I don't know what you have, but yeah, probably no, I would, I would have no Wednesday show. free. Mm-hmm. If you wanted to, but okay. I don't want to put pressure on you. We'll consider a busy it. week and a lot of things going we'll on. Con- so let's, let's let's have it for consideration, but probably probably more toward no. But let's, oh, I see how yeah. it is. Yeah, <laughs> just got a pentakill. Oh. <laughs> pentakill. Wow, wow. All right, pocket. That's a five spot. Dang, that's right. Don't do this to Only me, boys. Who, I know. Who, I'm, who was she? Who who were you using? What was the champ you were using? Pentakill. She probably can't say. That was she's of, probably too busy doing it, but yeah, yeah. Ben gets Ben almost had like two in one game the other day. It's, that's how good he is. But uh, sounds like he's in the mafia. sounds like he's in the mafia. Yeah, I got Wednesdays free. I can make them free if you want him. <laughs> if you want him, that is, I can make Wednesday. Yeah, you want yeah. it? You want it Wednesdays free? I can make. It. I just got to talk to a guy. I got to talk to him. Um, nice, Penta. Thanks for sharing the the gaming. Wow. See, it all ties into the gaming. It does. She's listening. She's gaming. You were against it at first. You oh. were like, you were like, this channel could not have any gaming on it. I was like, <laughs> Keith, it's going to have to have some. MF is misfortune. Oh, and now it's, wow. She's coming from the Penta to the As, as she's typing. Too, so Dang. now I'm kind of suspicious. So someone Dang. else is playing your account Dang. while you're texting us. What is going on? Wow. That's, uh, I remember there was a cool. clip of, uh, we used to play, uh, I've talked about it before. Uh, that was that game. Oh, there are her stats. 12 kills, 2 deaths, 11 assists. 11 assists. Nice. So, yeah. So is that... You should is join that, her in that. Join, they're trying to get me to play it. And I just... <laughs> so. I used to love playing... Uh, what the, oh, Paragon. That was the game we used to play. Because that had the... I don't know. Like, I'm sure they have good announcers too. But like I said, they had the greatest announcer. It was like this really deep voice guy. And when I remember... Because I used to play with Nightfall, who would come in here. And I would usually play... I always loved playing support. And he would always play... Like I said, he would play the, like I said, the main and like we would go in and, and like I said, there was a couple times when I protected him and all of a sudden he'd just be like quadra kill and then penta kill. Like it was this really super deep voice as, and it was the most amazing thing to hear. And I think he has a clip even up on YouTube. If we go to his channel, this voice is not, this voice is more like shut down. Oh, okay. Ace. And then it actually, when it, it does get better, it, it does, it does go more quadra kill. Penta kill, but it's not that kind of a, not that deep a voice. But when it's funny when it'll keep saying "shut down, shut down," Kristen will say "shut up." <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll think it's just kind of funny to say "shut up, shut up, shut up, <laughs> shut up." You just got <laughs> truth in gambit. It happens. Truth is a good option if people are invading. I'm sorry for that though. Two witnesses. Keith knows a little. Jess is one. Jess is one. But yeah, it was like yeah, no, it's no. a super deep like <laughs> like almost like the uh, it's the NFL on Westwood One. It was almost oh, like that guy's kind of super deep Johnson voice. Bill but yeah, it'd be Brons. like yeah, it'd be like quadra kill, penta kill. And like when you just wiped out the team. Like I said, yeah, I have, to, I have to look for that. I still say getting one K. Oh, getting one K. Well, yeah, getting truth. Like you can't do anything about that. That's a tracking rocket. But the one K, like it's just gonna happen. Like that one is a little bit more difficult. Johnson if I kill five Bill people, Bronx. I don't want some ASMR golf announcer. I want doom level intensity. Exactly. If you get five kills, you want someone going so like, it, the, 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 I might not be doing good because it's not an ASMR golf announcer voice. <laughs> it kind of sounded like But it's, it's, like, it's more of a, it is. 
Yeah, I'm obviously not doing it justice, but I'm sure you could find it. <laughs> you could very easily one K yourself. Pentakill. I wonder if that ace. Shut down. Shut down. Oh, wait, maybe if I just go to see if I can find that quick as we wrap things. Up. Well, so even if we don't, on our next show, next show, before our next show, I will put up a poll and I will let you guys pick. Which I'm actually, I'll probably just let you pick between two because I'm assuming gin will probably lose because we do a lot of gin. So I'll let you pick between. I got a new bourbon. Uh, like I said, the Wolcott uh, bottled in bond. So we'll, like I said, we've got that as an okay. option. And then the other option will be the uh, Dos Hombres, uh, Aaron Paul, Brian Cranston, Mezcal. I'll put those up. So we'll do one of those. Okay. What else do you that think you want to, thinking about that you want to bring to the table? Did you have any uh, oh, ideas? Oh, man. As uh, I actually don't at this moment. Unless we want to stay with the wine theme. We got a wine in today that's a unoaked Chardonnay from California. The but... raccoon came back. It's fatter than it was before. <laughs> Is your dog still around? Is your dog still alive? That's like the key right there. So you want to try your ta- a chance at the voice one more time? Uh, oh, just, I don't know. Just, maybe it's you on. Just, you just got a uh, level no, three. No, it's not right that. Right. It's, it's almost a feminine sounding good, voice. Good job. Shut down. Good job. Shut you, down. You got a uh, five. Ace. You got a five right An there. ally has been slain. Okay. An enemy so has been slain. So it's kind of slain. robotic lady? Uh, I guess. Yeah. Like from StarCraft? An enemy has no, been it's, slain. Uh, we were, t- were you talking about specifically about League and or TFT? We're talking about, uh, this is League. Okay. Yeah. League of Legends getting a pentakill. We're trying to have keep through the voice of the Well, announcer. not the, no, just the, the names or the, the things that, that that person says in general. Oh, okay. You got Kinda. It. Okay. All right. Robot. You got okay. everybody. So Pocket's Good agreeing job. with that then too. Okay. So lady robot. Yeah. Like shot kind of down. In a shot place of down. glory. Yeah. <laughs> Take shot me out. Down. That's not Bon Jovi. <laughs> <laughs> I forget in League. There's one announcer, right? Yeah. There's yes. only one announcer. Yeah. Okay. Just one. I'm surprised they don't have but announcer lots packs. Of little, uh, lots of little voices from the champions though that are funny. There's, there's a couple that when they die, they make this like, ah, uh, noise. And oh always, my God. It sounds up. terribly sad. <laughs> it does. <laughs> shut, yeah, we say shut down. Shut in down. Place shut place. up. Shut up. <laughs> Take me out. <laughs> in a broken uh, Looking through here. I don't know if we really have anybody on. <laughs> All right, so you didn't come up with something. So basically, I've, I've brought something. No. To say, so you don't have, oh, my Oh, God, that's why. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fuck is, the dog is under period. <laughs> oh, God. This went to another level. Lurk. Thank you, Gala, for the lurk. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. We are wrapping things up here shortly. But we are going to raid somebody. Just give me a second. Maybe that, uh, maybe that wine that I've been talking about. We'll see. You've been hitting a wine for quite a while I know. Now. We'll see. We've, we've had good luck with wine, especially tonight. We hit the red, so. We'll yeah, see. we definitely that. Yeah, that was solid. That was a uh, super super solid. Yep. Oh, who we? Oh, you had his shirt on last. I time. did. <laughs> I figured we might as well go here then. No destiny night. No Wanvo. No destiny night. We just do the beverage stuff. I will be back on tomorrow for destiny. Ten a.m. Pacific, one o'clock Eastern. We'll be doing some trials with the uh, backyard, and uh, Alex will be in here. Our my usual trials gang. Uh, we'll be having some fun doing our uh, three win uh, packages, which that's about as far as we usually get. But who knows? Maybe tomorrow we'll bring better things. It's a little more difficult in trials PvP. What we'll be doing that tomorrow? Whiskey and Destiny, a good time. I will probably. Alex is still here. Alex, look at that with the key flex. She knows. <laughs> she knows. Probably also saving up for the key flex. Do you realize how many flexes you're going to have to give out at some point? Well, I think. When we're... are you going to start doing some push ups? <laughs> The push-ups aren't what give you the biceps, though. But what gives you the biceps? Whatever that is, work on it. Yes, I have to work on it. <laughs> Start working. On it. So maybe okay. Maybe. So this fabulous gentleman isn't your father. He's just an esteemed human. <laughs> isn't your father? <laughs> wow. wow. Okay, brother. <laughs> that is the first time I've gotten a good comment. Yikes. It is usually always the other way around. Like most people usually think I'm older. Well, I I'd even be older. better than like your father. 
<laughs> Maybe I'm like 20. So then you're okay. actually younger. All then. right. Well, then then there we go. <laughs> I saw silver. So there sorry. is the silver there. That's for sure. <laughs> you said you. And I haven't done. I haven't done the uh, the the just for men in a while. Exactly. So that that enhances. So that's for <laughs> yes, sure. That enhances. That's for sure. Oh man. But yeah, we will be uh, back on. Uh, like I said, maybe next week. Definitely a great place to follow. I will hit all the shameless plugs here as we finish up. Uh, follow on Twitter for sure. You've got the same beard as my dad. <laughs> I had that beard a little while ago. I am old enough to be many people's dads. That's, so that's true. true. Just not his. Even your son's. <laughs> yes. <of course. laughs> Including my son. <laughs> Including your son. Uh, but uh, yeah, I will be back on uh, tomorrow. I probably will have the rest of that M50 wine, to be honest with you. It was so delicious. That's oh, wow. probably the featured beverage I'll have tomorrow. Uh, and like I said, not right at 10 a.m. But uh, like I said, you know, I usually wait. And hopefully least, not driving anywhere. I wait at least till noon. Yeah. All right. I'm not a complete degenerate. Uh, but yeah, we'll be doing that uh, tomorrow. Like I said, 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific, 1 o'clock Eastern. We'll be playing some trials with some wonderful, wonderful people. Uh, and uh, and yeah, but thank you guys all for coming out tonight. We greatly appreciate it. We're going to raid a maze. He is playing some Destiny right now. Looks like he is doing some Grandmaster Nightfalls, perhaps. Maybe he's farming some Adept Palindromes. He's super nice. I was wearing one of his shirts last week. I his gear that. is super nice, really, really comfortable. I don't know if he's doing uh, different uh, curated drops or what is going on, but definitely check that out if, uh, when you head over to his chat. Look at his gear. It is uh, some very, very comfortable, comfortable stuff. Do you have anything else you want to say? You have anything else you want to throw out? No, that's it. Uh, Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay. We got it. We got it for All tonight. Right. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. We appreciate you spending your time lurking, hanging out. We'll see you soon. Good night. Good night.